ahead and get started. So, today, well, first off, I was off last week. I went to SCG Con, went to the Invitational, it is the flagship SCG event for the season. And, you know, lots of points given out. It's also the end of Season 1, so we added four more players to the Players' Championship. Congrats to, I believe, Colin Roundtree, Oliver Tomiko, Abe Corrigan, and Matthew Dilks, my teammate, uh, made it into the Players' Championship. And the rest of us are still fighting for our slots. I fell a little bit short, kind of scrubbed out of the Invitational. Um, I think I played well at the Invitational, and I think that... I don't know, I played a lot of close matches that didn't really break my way a lot of the time, so I felt I felt good with the way I played, and I felt fine with the decks I played. Maybe I could have played a better deck than Mono Red and Standard, but it, it felt fine. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> you played against three mirrors, so clearly a bunch of other people agreed with me. So, I took that week off, because I spent a lot of time prepping for the event, and, you know, needed to catch up on sleep and catch up on chores and life and stuff like that. So, here we are, I'm back. Sorry for everyone that uh, there was no content last week. Um... So yeah, there, while I was gone, the whole reason I went through that spiel is while I was gone off playing a dead modern format, apparently people were at home breaking modern, and here we are looking at the result of that. This deck kind of swept the challenge. If I remember right, it was like 25% of the top like 16 or maybe like top 32 or whatever. Like This, this deck just kind of showed up in force and showed that it is definitely a competitor. And there's a bunch of like super meme like uh, screenshots going around on Twitter right now of everyone being like, wow, look, it's modern, and it's like... Turn two, they have like 10, 15 power in play. So, but of course, that's that's I don't even know survivor bias the right word. It's like those are the the games where people are showing like how busted the deck is. Now, clearly, if my hey inferno, clearly if my voice hasn't like alluded to it, I don't think this deck is overly busted. I kind of fell for this once. I fell for the Bridgevine uh, debacle where everyone thought that deck was broken and then it just did like next to nothing. Um, despite having a lot of the same screenshots. So I am older and wiser than I was at that time, and now am a little more skeptical of these kinds of Stitcher Supplier enablers. Now, there's no doubt that this deck picked up a lot, and we're going to dive into that in just a second. But the point is, like, we're on week one. People are already calling for bans, as people do, because they like, you know, the clout and the drama and stuff like that. But I am actually very interested to see if, given all the new tools from Modern Horizons, if how the format adapts to this Hogak deck. Like, is this going to be a flash in the pan? When the Bridge Vine deck was around previously, people just put a bunch of Ley Lines on their board. Ley Lines spiked to like a $50 card, which it has remained a $50 card since then. And everyone just, every deck had four Ley Lines on the board, and eventually that deck fucked off, and we ended up with a normal Modern format again. Um, so, I'm kind of curious if this deck kind of was able to come about not just because it got new cards, but because the modern format had moved to a point where everyone was cutting Leyline from their deck. And now if people put go go back to putting their Ley Lines in the deck, if this deck is going to be able to compete. So we'll see. I'm looking to play some games with it today for all of you and see how easy it is to pilot A and B, like how how broken really is it? Let's see across a like at least a five match sample if it can really put a million power into play turn two of every game, even after sideboarding. So Let's dive into the deck list without me blabbing any further. Uh, mana base makes a lot of sense. Bunch of black and red lands with a single godless shrine to cast some uh, wisp mirrors in the sideboard. Uh, we've seen this. This is an innovation that Vengevine used to have where it was just like, it's a creature spell that brings back Vengevine while still being like good enchantment hate for the uh, ley line and rest in peace decks. So I'm pretty happy to see that. Um, other than that, like literally black, you know, black red lands, four black crypt, four black leaf cliffs. What is this, eight fetch lands? Nine fetch lands? Sure, and a basic land. Always good to have a basic land in your deck. Just good deck building. Uh, so pretty happy with that. 19 lands seems like the appropriate amount. We do kind of want to get a little higher on mana, but we also have Fate the Looting to uh, mitigate Flood. Hey, Austin, how goes it? G-Train. You said Tav Tavari Time Reveler wasn't shit, so IDK had a feel about your evaluations. Fair. I still don't think that card... For the record, J-Train, I don't want to get off on tangent too much. I still think Tavari Time Reveler is incredibly overrated. I don't think that card is a modern or legacy power level card. It is fine and standard, and I always said if there was a deck that like could leverage it like with you know board presence, then it was going to be good. But I, I just like was like, eh, I think I see it as a sideboard card in standard and played nowhere else. And I think as time goes on, we'll see that happen. But... I'm fine. I'm done being. I'm done being pulled off track. Um, we still see a lot of the same package that the old uh, Vengevine decks used to have with Gravecrawler, one mana creature spell to bring back Vengevines, which says you know if you cast a second, cast a spell if it's a second creature spell you cast a turn, return it from grave to battlefield. So being a one mana spell that you can cast in the graveyard, good candidate. 
Uh, Stitcher Supplier was the big enabler that everyone thought was going to make Bridgevine viable. Uh, Inches of Battlefield or Dies, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Uh, Faithless Looting, of course, broken. We've seen this for a long period of time with Dredge and Phoenix. And so just another Faithless Looting deck is definitely a solid include. And Insolent Neonate. This card is good synergy with Bridge from Below, where you can discard as part of the cost, and then it, then you actually sacrifice this afterwards, and so you can still get a zombie and draw a card. And so, like, it puts these Venge Vines and the Bridges in the yard, kind of helps filter your hand, kind of like a mini Faithless Looting, while still being a one-mana creature for Venge Vine. Good deck building. Um... So yeah, I think this package is all stuff we've seen before. Uh, Blood Gas, I mean, we've seen it on and off, but it gets a lot better now with the addition of the new Sack Outlets. Altar of Dementia, this card, you know, we have the Tempest ones here, but we, uh, it was originally, I actually don't know where it was originally printed, but it was reprinted in Modern Horizons and added to Modern. And then we have Carrion Feeder, also reprinted in Modern Horizons and added to Modern. So now we have good, efficient Sack Outlets. Instead of Viscerous here, which is what we used to play, we now have an actual one-mana zombie that we want to cast. Still one-mana spell for Vengevine, still a Sacrifice Outlet. And it's still, like, very good. Like, I'd say, like, the effect is equal to or better than Viscerous here for sure. It was Viscerous here scries one. This creature make, this just makes a big creature that beats down. Pretty happy to see that. Um, Altar of Dementia adds a little bit more play to this deck because instead of just being a traditional Sack Outlet that has, like, a minor effect like Carrying Feeder, this actually mills any player so you, at the beginning you probably want to mill yourself to fill up your graveyard and then at the end of the, you know filling your graveyard up and you have like very few cards in your deck you can actually use the new new card hogak i don't know how to say it we're gonna say hogak actually hogak to uh mill out your opponents and so like this kind of creates a combo it's it's a non-deterministic combo if our opponent has infinity cards in their library then you know it's not going to mill them out but if they have infinity cards in the library then we're probably going to win the game um so Bridge from Below and Vengevine, still hallmarks of the Bridgevine deck. That's why it's called Bridgevine. Here's your bridge, here's your vine. Um, but like I said, the new the new addition is Hogak. Hogak. I'm going to have to get this right. Which, I mean, this card isn't hard to evaluate, right? You read it, it says, Cast from the Graveyard, Convoke Delve. Uh, wow, Delve. Hmm. Haven't seen that one be broken before. Convoke's played in basically every format right now. And, like, can be cast from the graveyard. It's always relevant. And it's it's a big boy. It's an 8-8 trample. So, pretty pretty busted card. It was kind of, like, not super obvious where it would fit at the very beginning. But the combo of Altered Dementia plus uh, Hogak is pretty, pretty nice. Being able to mill yourself for 8 cards lets you easily get the 5 cards to recast it while advancing your graveyard. And then, of course, like, with things like Bridge from Below, you can make zombies to just recast them again. So, that's the, that's the main deck. Busted. We're going to figure out if I can find out how to pilot it. Oh, we also have Necrotic Wound, a pickup from Guilds of Ravnica. lets you have a, access to a good removal spell in your main deck. Uh, I'm not actually sure this card might just be utter nonsense. Like, I don't really know where we're going to want a creature removal spell in our deck that's, like, pretty well designed to go over the top of any creatures they're going to have. But I'm going to hold out and, you know, till we actually play some games to finish the evaluation on that. Uh, quickly here, wrapping up, the sideboard's pretty, I think, pretty self-explanatory. We have Wisp Mares for Rest in Pieces and um, Leyline of the Voids. We have our own Leyline of the Voids for the Mirror and other graveyard-based decks, but basically the Mirror, in my understanding. We have Ingot Chewer for Artifact-Based Graveyard Hate. Think like Graft Digger's Cage, maybe even Relic. Uh, shenanigans kind of diversifies, and so we can actually keep milling ourselves and then dredge this and blow it up. So this is like one that if we have like kind of an altar thing going, we're going to want access to one copy of this in our deck. So uh, it's like the diversification there makes a lot of sense. And once again, these creatures make a lot of sense to be in our deck because they actually return Venge Vines. Um, and like, like, so like if I cast this first and like blow up a Graft Deer's Cage and cast another creature spell, it returns Venge Vines. So that's just like, it's just good deck building. Um, Silent Gravestone is pretty clearly for Surgical Extraction. Um, anything else like that, I guess there's technically, uh, what is it called? Oh, stupid. What's the split second one? Whatever the split second one is, I think it begins with an E. Uh, we have, we have this card to cover that. And last but not least, removal spells, I guess, for creature-based graveyard hate. Like, maybe Yixila Jailer. There you go. If people are playing Yixila Jailer, which I've seen people in the humans group talking about, we're going to want access to this card. So that about sums up this deck. Uh, do you think it is better to play Claim and Trophy over Wismare? I don't really know. This is, like, the kind of thing that... Um, I mean, we're going to see for sure. I don't have a ton of experience with the Bridgevine decks, but these are the kinds of things that the old Bridgevines decks used to do, and so I'm pretty happy to start there. Um, if we do end up, like, Trophy is more flexible, and that is the page that uh, Dredge, is taking a page out of Dredge, Dredge's book. Wow. 
stumbling over words. Um, and it like blows up all these things, right? Like I don't have to try to pick and choose and like next level and figure out what graveyard hate my opponent put in their sideboard. Were they bold enough to try to beat me with surgicals and so I only want silent gravestone? Or they, you know, did they actually figure out that you want Leyline in this format and have to bring all the Wismares? I don't really know. ACM5, Akim? I don't know how to say this. ACM5KM. Thank you very much for the subscription. I really appreciate it. If you want me to play a sublist this month, uh, uh, get in the Discord. There's a channel now for sublist submission and just submit it through there. Um, I'd like to kind of, I guess, consolidate the sublist submission into one spot. But thank you very much for your support. It really means a lot to me. Um, Teddy, how's it going? So someone's saying they think Alter is the real offender in this deck, if anything is actually egregious about it. I mean, J-Train, uh, Alter does let us take a different angle altogether. So I actually am not surprised if, like, if this deck is over-the-top powerful, I think Alter of Dementia is what's going to push it over the top. Because it lets it, it lets the deck have an entirely different angle of attack. Hey, Ailey. Ellie. Ellie of the Veil. How are you? Love the YouTube content. Happy to support the stream. Asim. Asim. Ace M, by the way. Thank you very much, Ace M. I really appreciate it. That means a lot. All right. So let's start. Oh, this is a new UI. Modern. Yes. Uh, League? Yeah. Is that what we're on? Yeah, we, are, we have League selected. Uh, choose an entry option. Ten event ticks. What if I want to play friendlies? I guess friendlies are gone, right? Oh, no. My precious friendlies. Uh, the Ho Hogake deck is there. Um, I guess I'm just supposed to enter. Oh, that's cute. Uh, click. Oh, do I have 100 play points? Yes. Cards in the deck will be locked while you're in this event. That is fine. I don't know if there's an option for friendly leagues, but whatever. The new, the new moto is kind of confusing to navigate. I mean, I guess only if friendlies exist, it's confusing to navigate because it is apparent to me that they do not. Eli, Mebo! Hi, Mebo! Meebs. The old Meebs. Shout out to Meebo. She uh, she crushed season one. She is a Magic the Gathering master, and I'm excited to team with her for Philly next season. All right. Let's join this match. Let's get it. <sighs> Let's break Modern open. Would you like to... Oh, I won the die roll. I'm so lucky. I would love to play first. Uh, is this hand broken? This hand looks broken, but I have no way to, like, put my crap in the graveyard. Like, I have this thing. Oh, no. Evaluating hands. This is, like, also heinous. Let's fix this. Oh, my God. Are you serious, Mono? Get out of here. Yeah, let's fix this for you guys. Boop. Oh, so this is probably one of those hands that anybody that's played this deck for any length of time is going to be like, Drake, this is obviously a keeper mole, whichever one it is. Um, but... Me being stupid and having no faith this looting. I have Stitcher Suppliers and Enabler. I have plenty of lands to cast my spells. But I have no way to put all this crap in the graveyard. Like, I don't want to cast Blood Gas. That's not broken. I kind of want to just mulligan this. It feels kind of stupid to mulligan Stitcher Supplier. Let's see what we're actually mulliganing to real quick. Alright. We're mulliganing to, like, Sack Outlet, maybe? Faith this looting, Neonate? I think it's a mole. Drew Martin, I'm inclined to agree with you. Shadows thinks keep... And Hope? She's a master of magic and claws. Yeah, she has some claws AF. I would mull, but I've... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Ace, you and I are on the same page. I have had no... This is literally the first time I've played magic since the Invitational. I decided to take a little bit of mental health days, so... Uh, I'm gonna go with Mulligan. In general, we can do better. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we just keep this and, like... Do we just turn on looting and hope to hit stuff? Probably going to. Like, betting an extra Faithless Looting I don't think is ridiculous. And, like, Altar of Dementia is kind of nice. I'm going to keep this. Carrion Feeder. I kind of want that. But I don't want to wait till turn two to cast Faithless Looting, right? Maybe I do. I really want to put Altar into play on turn two. So let's just bottom top this, whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Not fetching the Godless Shrine at any point in time. They're functionally equivalent. Uh, let's put this one. Maybe it'll put them off the fact that we have white in our deck. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just going to cast stuff. Spew. Spew. We're going to spew. Okay. Vengevine. Faithless looting. I kind of like this. So. All right. 
cavern. Oh no, we're gonna get humans. I think the altar is gonna be pretty important against humans here. Because I think it's like, like we're eventually gonna get in a spot where we can't really attack. Oh shit. Well... Now I feel very incentivized to put my creatures into play. Drawing a second creature is kind of awkward, because I really wanted to put Alter into play this turn. And, like, start milling myself. Like a pro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to put this Vengevine into play, but it's really it's really unfortunate, because I think this card... Like, if they have Dolly on turn two, our attacks get a lot worse. And, like, if they leave up one, we can't really even attack with our Menace creature. I don't know. I, oh, no. Stop. Oh, I mean, we're, we're still we're still doing it. It's just like, I don't love it. Oh, life total kind of matters here, so I think I'm actually going to fetch a swamp. Let's play Carrion Feeder. Let's play Insolent Neonate. Okay, yes, I would like to use Vengevine's ability. Uh, combat. Hey All right. And like I said, we have Alter, I guess, to like get things going. Hopefully they don't have a Thalia, because if they do, we have to draw a land, and that's going to make me feel kind of sad. But we are a 19 land deck. It's not even that unlikely with this looting that we, we miss on lands here, right? Just whack them. Whack them. That's what we're doing. Thalia me. Uh, what do they name? Probably Alter. Feels like you should name Alter. See, I told you. I told you. God damn it. I really wanted to put this stupid altar into play. Like, I feel so dumb for taking this line. <sighs> Maybe I should have played the altar. This is why you have one wound. Just draw it. Right, I'll put that on my uh, on my resume here. <sighs> I think I'm just going to attack. Attack with all. If they block, I'm just going to sack, like, both of my creatures. <laughs> I think. May not even. I may just sack this. Trading with the mage seems kinda nice. Take a million. I wonder if I'm supposed to play this insolent neonate. Cause like it'll help me bring back Vengevine. What do they have? They might have Reflector Mage, so I don't want a Faithless Looting yet. I think I don't want to do anything. Loot and Dig for Wound? I don't think I... I don't think the onus is on me to make decisions, right? Pass. I think making decisions here is, like, rough. Like, there is merit to playing this Insolent Neonate, but, like, if they bounce it with Reflector Mage, I'm going to want this Neonate to be able to put my Vengevine back into play after I Looting next turn. All right, now they're going to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, lose one, play Reflector Mage, pick up Vengevine. This is what I expected to happen. All right, attack me for two, because you're not blocking. Gravecrawler. All right, well, that's what the doctor ordered. Faithless Looting. Cane Feeder Bloodgast. Shit. Um, um, could sack both creatures, they could flash something in, it's gonna pass. I assume they have a two drop, they have four cards in hand. Just wait to find Hogak. That's fine. What are we bouncing? Carrying feeder? Probably carrying feeder. Yeah, carrying feeder makes the most sense to bounce. Although doing it on my end steps kind of loose, cause I can just play it on my next turn. But whatever. I guess it like does something for them. We just need to kind of get bridge going. We have grave crawler. We just kind of need to get the bridge thing going before they actually assemble enough power to attack. If they have Mantis Rider here, that's pretty bad for us. God damn it, they always have it. I think I should have played the altar chat. I think actually doing what I did on turn two was a mistake. This deck's hard. I'm bad. Uh, yeah, I can't. I mean, I guess I can block. Uh, 
Don't want to block. Oh no, I went to damage. I'm an idiot. Whatever. I wanted to cycle this. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> um, so we're going to get to bring everything back. We're at 7. Caring Feeder can't block. So let's put a Carrying Feeder into play. Put a Insulin Neonate into play. Okay. Yes. Put this into play. This has haste. Yes. Am I dead? If I, so if I don't block, am I dead? Three, four, yeah, I think so. So we can attack with this, 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 and then require to block this. They take six, go to three, and then I die in the backswing. So this blocks, right? Does. They block one, take two to seven. Oh no. I can't beat that. I cannot beat that. Yeah, I think I fucked this up. I think I needed to play the altar on two and not just like. I mean, they, they obviously were very heads up with the matchup. They knew to name altar. I'm like, we just died as a result. So, humans traditionally doesn't play ley line, but I think all the latest lists have. So, I feel incentivized to bring in necrotic runes and two wisp mares. And I think that's all I want to do. I could bring in this shenanigans in case they're on Grafdigger's Cage, but I don't think they are. What's up, YJ? We are not owning. We are not owning. We just died because I played kind of bad. Um, What sucks against humans? Bridge is actually kind of shit against humans if they have. Because they have Phantasm, which they can just throw in the graveyard. Blood gas is actually kind of bad. It doesn't really get through very well, and it's kind of slow. I'm just going to call it blood gas. I don't know if this is right. But, like, binge vine attacks. Well, blood gas is kind of bad. It's a zombie right now. It's not even a zombie. All right, get out of here. I don't know. Cutting blood gas might be wrong, but blood gas doesn't seem great. Let's see. Is there, like, a, is there a primer somewhere online? I don't see one. Deck confirmed busted. Yeah, we lost game one. Think you want two or shenanigans for cage? I don't think they play. I think they play Lamar and they play cage now. Oh, this hand is very mediocre. I'll keep it. Got two things we want to bet on turn one. Hopefully they don't have way line. They don't. Uh, let's play this. Yeah. Fetch. Play this. Shock. Faithless looting. Discard this, this. And then we're going to be able to do Altar into Gravecrawler, and that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Uh, does that actually matter? Does matter. All right, whoever said bring in the thing, you're right, they have Cage. We can still make zombies, but our shit doesn't come back. Uh, we can't cast looting either. Man. I mean, when they didn't have Leyline, it was pretty obvious they probably had Cage, right? Like, if they didn't have Leyline on turn one, which this hand didn't beat a Leyline on turn one, too, so this hand might have been supposed to be a mulligan. <laughs> Are they even boarded in the shenanigans? Probably should have boarded it and just have something to, to alter towards. Speaking of, I guess we just alter. Make some zombies. We're not dead. We're just not in great shape. And they don't play cage. Yeah, no shit. This is like, this is one of those top Drake moments. All right, they're probably going to mentally mage name one of our creatures. It's pretty reasonable. Ugh. Yeah, that's fine. Their mana kind of sucks. Oh, well, there's the either well. Uh, I like to beat to life. Nothing can make me happier. Grave crawler. Carrying feeder. No, Portage. I'd love to bring it back. What do you mean that won't work? All right. And then we can just kind of do this whenever. It's just like, we're going to sack and build. Just try to make as many zombies as possible. 
Not gonna block if they attack. We can't right now anyway. They cast Phantasmal Image. I don't think we're gonna respond. We probably will. I'm pretty dumb. That is big fine. Okay. Uh, I guess we can do this at any time. No, I want the zombies to have haste, right? Sack this. Uh, okay. I guess I should just always go to this. Uh, this sack, this target me, this. Oh, the old. And we drew a Hogak, which we can't cast. Me, sack this. Okay, if you're split, you got it. Altar of Dementia, oh no! We have a bunch of tutus. I'm gonna hold the land because draw faithless looting. Same with the altar. Attacking's bad. I think we're just dead. Probably should just concede because I screwed this game up. Hello, Jen. Isn't it better to use the carrying effect? I don't know. I was trying to hit more bridges. So, no? I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, the idea was I feel like I was supposed to go wide this game, but. I mean, I'm probably just very dead. This matchup, I heard this matchup wasn't good to start with, and if they have hate, it's not good. And I like didn't. I brought in like hate for enchantments. All right, yeah, we we're done. We both played hard. Somebody right now is like, oh, the Hogak deck's not very good at all. Just because like I just played like a complete mongoloid. <laughs> well, this happens basically every time there's a new broken deck that's like kind of complicated. As I always play it on stream in front of all of you for the first time, and like look like a complete idiot in the first match, and then like. Towards the end, I start, like, figuring out what the hell I'm supposed to do. And, <laughs> like, moving on. But, you know what? It's a learning experience. It's a learning experience that you all get to watch. Hopefully that's fun. I mean, I don't know if I'm right. Like, maybe going over the top was better. Is that MTG professional Drake Sasser? Well, what's up, Ryan? I am looking pretty fucking stupid right now. I'm sure I'll keep this. This has enablers plus things. Is this like burn? Sure. <laughs> what you doing? Am I gonna have to get gobbo guided? Stitches of fire seems like a block swell against go. Whoa! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, thanks for sharing, Cell Warden. So we're in. Wow! Exclamation point competitive. I guess there's no friendly leagues anymore. Whenever. <laughs> you know what? You gain your life. I'm gonna mill three. Bridge. I'll take bridge. Damn, now I can't block. This sucks. Also, these altars are probably pretty fucking important in this matchup. Milling these is probably like a nightmare. <laughs> like, oh no. I also played the wrong land on turn one. Does anybody notice that? I'm supposed to like turn two, I'm incentivized to go insolent, neonate, sack, draw a card, put blood gas in the yard, then play my land and put blood gas in the blank. God, I'm a forehead. I was trying to like save life and I just feel like a moron now. Kite self rebooter me. Dark Confidant, sure, dude. That's This is a synergy. It's just good fucking deck building. Carrion Feeder. Uh, okay. I guess we just... Play this and shock. Play this. Hmm. Sacrifice... This? Uh, Jesus. Oh, put him on the stack, however. Always yield. Hogak, A. Eh? Uh, red insolent neonate. How many cards in the graveyard? Seven. So we can. There's a blood gas already in the yard. We can sack, make a zombie. I think this is just correct. Just card a card this. Make a zombie. You put some more things in the play. I have a blood gas. Then we're supposed to cast this. Pay for black, black, black. 
One, two, three, four. All right, we got a Hogak. Not a shabby turn two. That's not a shabby turn two at all. I will take it. I'll big take it. And we got a fetch land next turn to just put like a million counters on all our stuff. Our next turn is going to be kind of sick. Where was this against humans? This, is, this turn is awesome. Big fan. Big fan. All right, whatever. I have nothing to do in your turn. Torrential Gear Hulk, as a, as a Drago Degenerate, what is your thoughts on Archimage Charm? Why are you going to do this to me, Gear Hulk? Or on New Chandra as a Jeskai Control finisher? I think New Chandra is better against Jeskai Control than, like, for Jeskai Control. Like, you're pathing me? I have another one, so that's big fine. I do not have a basic left in my deck, right? Yeah, I do not. No, okay. Um, whatever, I don't care. That was... I was actually a little bit more scared they were going to shoot my Hog Act, to be honest with you. Maybe I should have a path for that, too. God damn it, fuck off! No. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think Archmage's Charm is heinous. I think it's not a good card at all, for what it's worth. All right, hey, Drake, what do you think about the new... about the Noxious Revival build of Blue Red Phoenix? With Finale, honestly, you don't care that much more about the great... You care... You don't care that much more about the graveyard than normal builds, and I feel like your game one, your deck is just better. I disagree with the sentiment that you care less about the... I mean, you care the same about the Graveyard in the 4 Ascension 3 Noxious Revival version as you do in the 2 Finale of Promise version. If you just look at the cards, there's more cards that care about the Graveyard in general. And you also lose the option to have Crackling Drake as an out at all. Like, especially right now, I think so many people are going to be playing Ley Lines for this deck that I think you should be playing... Like, I think playing the, Nox, the, the Ascension Noxious Revival version of the deck is a mistake. Okay, let's make sure I don't fuck this up. Uh, what do I do? I play Carrion Feeder. Oh, that is fine. You can gain some life. I, I legitimately do not care at all. Okay, let's put this into play. This into play. Always yes, always yield. Bring these back. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did always oh, yes to the other one. Oh, the old. Uh, sack a creature. Sack this. Uh, fetch. Go grab a blood crypt. Yes. Always oh, yes. Yes. Always, yes, yes. Use blood gas ability, yes. Black, black, here's a blood gas, and we got we got lands for days. Let's make some zambies. Uh do 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 do, do. We're, we're 13 to the 34. I don't think I'm supposed to attack yet. I think we're just pass, because we can like block plus sack or whatever if they do anything big. Yeah. 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 We have three more zombies with like a bunch more on the way. I don't know. We'll just like decide later. Can attack, but that's kind of bad. Don't love attacking. I'm just gonna like wait. We can make a way bigger army next turn. Okay, you can have a Norn back. The thing is, I'm kind of worried. What I'm worried about here is the stupid, um, the one mana Solus Saras in it, but I don't think the. Red, white version plays Sarah Ascendant. If they do, I'm gonna feel kind of dumb, but like, I don't think they do. I've just not even been caring about what they've been drawing this whole time. Just like Lance or whatever. Alright, so Archmage Charm. I might play set or pass. I would pass. If you really are passionate about control, I would buy one or two at about. I would not, for any nothing more than $5. I think the card is not good. Well, okay. The card is obviously good. It's above rate. But, like, I do not think it is a modern power level card. I think that... I actually have an interesting take on this. And, I, gosh, I really wish I could articulate this well in, like, an article on Twitter. But, like, charms that are good are good because they have one very individually powerful and specific mode. And a lot of other flex modes. So they have something that's very narrow and very specific and something that you can just cash it in for, right? So let's look at like Rakdos's Charm, which like destroys an artifact, exiles a graveyard, but also can like randomly do damage to your opponent. Or Golgari Charm, which can destroy an enchantment, regenerate your creatures, which is kind of a cash-in mode, or is like a sweeper. 
Um, or like Esper Charm, which is like destroys an enchantment, once again, main deck enchantment eight, that can also just discard two cards to draw two cards, right? Like these are narrow modes that have like good rate cash in modes. Um, I didn't fucking stack my things. I suck. I have six. Man, I played so bad this game. I mean, I don't think it matters. It matters a little bit, but I don't think it matters that much. I'm going to do it all like right now anyway. But um, I do want to finish this point. Gosh, I've played so bad. I'm sorry, everyone on YouTube and <laughs> everyone here on Twitch chat. I've played very bad. Um, this this card, the narrow mode, is the gain control of a permanent with CMC 1 or less, right? And, like, that's very powerful. Like, if you're able to take Merit Lages, I'm pretty excited about that. I actually think the card's probably more playable in Legacy Miracles than anything else because you can leverage that narrow, very individually powerful mode. And then you have also the counter spell and draw two cards as cash in modes, right? But you cannot play this card that is kind of below rate in modern for just its cash out modes. It's not good as a counter spell. It's not good as a draw spell. And the game game control of a thing mode is not very relevant in modern at all. And so I do not think the card is going to be played for that reason. But I haven't really been able to articulate that very well. And so I don't blame people that hate on me for this. I need to like get my mechanics down on this a little faster because like this is going to take me a hot minute to do. I'm just so dumb. I'm actually going to attack this turn, so I'm going to make as many zombies as I can, but I am going to do this. Uh, so much creature. I'm just going to attack with everything. I, I, I don't care. We're, we're probably going to win this game by miles or not at all, so... I'm going to make a million zombies, and then we're going to attack. Alright. Fetch land. One of these needs to be always yes. Always yes. The rest of these should just come back. Oh my god, I've literally always yesed every time. It's probably this one's gonna make me do it too. I don't understand. Maybe I'm just really moto dumb. But this used to work with Valakut, so. Opponent, please. Alright, yeah, let's do the thing. Can't believe how bad I played this game. It's very frustrating. Fetch. Go grab a tap land. Uh, pick one. I don't want to expose red or black or whatever. Bring all this crap back. Yes. Yes. Derp, 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 derp. Yes. Look you know, at all this life they have. They have so much life. Two cards in hand, too. All right. Uh, so we can just attack, and they can only block like this, this. So I guess we could just sack them all and attack. Probably gonna do that. Just do it all main phase. I don't really see a reason not to. Maybe I'm just dumb. Go to 50. Sack this. Make a million more of these tokens. Sack this. All right. Combat. Right click attack with all. Go. All right, we're talking like a twelve, twelve and shit. So, oh, I should not, I should not have six here too, right? Because they, if they line up one blocker, we're just gonna sack the token. But I assume they're gonna do multiple blocks. Oh, I guess we're not blocking there. So yeah, this is just fine. You can exile the bridges. I think we put enough power into play. We can justifiably exile the bridges. Alright. I don't know what their plan is to win this game, but I'm sure they have one. Probably involves Bob digging them out of this situation. Nope. Alright, I I guess we're supposed to, like, keep playing Champion of the Parish? Dude, I don't know what you're doing, but we're going to attack for a lot. Okay. Is this even human? Is Norn a human? Oh, it is. That's cute. This is going to become a 2-2. I mean, we're not going to block the Blood so Champion if they attack. Right. Do they have another human? Sure. Soul Attendant. So I don't know their other cards in the end. This Champion's going to be kind of annoying, but I mean, as long as we have 12-12, we're just beating down for a million. Yeah, we're not blocking this. This just lets them grow their champion, and like, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know, I don't really want to trade zombie tokens for this thing that comes back. I'd rather like make them make some bad, bad blocks. 
Yeah, land puts into one card in hand. Yep, that's fine. Are we gonna go to combat before playing land? Holy cow, dude. Okay, just always yield to this. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Playing so clunky. Oh, uh, we got another fetch land. Combat. Right click, attack with all. There you go. <laughs> always yield. Okay. Block. They get to eat like a zombie token and then take like a billion. <laughs> Tiki Jiki, thank you much for the host. I really appreciate it. <laughs> hey, what's up, Brad? The fuck are we playing against? We're playing against top tier modern strategy red white soul sisters. Well, I'm sorry, Mardu. We got we got uh Dark Confidant. Am I dead? If I like Am I dead to this champion of the parish? I don't even do the math. I might die in the back crack. Should have held like a zombie back. We got two. Yeah. What is this? Six. They're at eight? Yeah, I definitely fucked this up. <laughs> you know what's funny is like, now, now like here's like, I was talking about winning by miles and like I haven't done any of the math here and like, I could die here. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine, right? We'll go to one currently. Could I have killed them? Did they? They didn't block this, did they? Oh, no, they didn't. I wonder if I could have killed them. Sack. I could have gotten one more point in by sacking. I also, yeah, I also missed the sack on carrying feeder. Christ. Tight play. Tight play. <laughs> Jesus, this deck is hard. Um, so, Norn's gonna come back. Norn can't attack, right? Yeah, like, it just, like, gets exiled. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, Norn comes back. Go to four. You have to draw a, sp you have to draw a spell, right? It pumps it to four. Yeah, we have eight, nine. Yeah, if they draw any human, we're done. Oh, no! Thali's lieutenant! Alright, you win. <laughs> Should have left back like two zombies. Whatever. <sighs> Bloom. So so bad. They have another Norn in the way. That's fine. Whatever. That's a, that's another point. I fucked up. Now we're gonna lose. Uh, I guess we just bring in the Necrotic Wounds. They seem like a rest in peace deck. So I guess we're going to want Wismares. Is the Crocodile Wound even good? Do I even care about their creatures? I'm not even sure I do. Like, I say that having just died to their creatures, but... Do zombies come in to play tap? No, they don't. Drake, you goofed it. I mean, I've goofed this whole league so far. <laughs> uh, Mardu humans. Mardumans! Alter of Dementia. Really stupid that we, we milled that pretty quick. Uh, they don't really have a way to, like... I don't know, bridges are kind of weird. Pretty disappointed with how badly I played that game. Like, I was thinking, like, it doesn't matter, they're going to have to block because this is lethal. I wasn't even, like, I was, like, just caught up in my own thoughts. I didn't actually do the math. This is what happens if you don't play Magic for a bunch of days, but we'll, we'll rally back. We'll win games two and three. Um, what's bad against Path to Exile? Is Hog kind of bad against Path to Exile? I kind of feel like it is. Maybe I don't want, like, Infinity of him. Blood gas aren't great attackers, but they look good that game. I really don't want to cut them all. I'm just gonna kind of do some like strange cutting like this. And I like I, said, I still think Alter of Dementia is one of our best cards in this matchup, but we'll see. Hi, Cervix. Just draw one, crush them. I don't think you cut all the combo pieces. I mean, I didn't cut any combo pieces, right? I mean, I guess I cut a Hogak, but I think Hogak. Ugh, ugh, this is kind of what I was worried about. I think he's kind of bad against. Uh, What's it called? Path to Exile decks. Let me keep this. I don't know. Has Stitcher Supplier. Has Hogak. Like, we're missing, like, a land to, I feel like, really do a lot of stuff. And we have a 19 land deck, so I think we can afford to miss for a turn and still be okay. Neonate, two lands. That kind of sucks. 
we can carry and feeder, mill, and then hopefully mill over something that like matters and we can two lands sucks. Maybe we attack. How about third hogak? Nice. Uh, whatever, let's just attack. See if we can get our free point in. They path me, I'm super in. Carrying feeder. Uh, there's no reason to mill now, right? I can't think of any. Because there's nothing that comes back in instant speed. Yeah, I'm supposed to just wait, I think. I think I path me. I'm pretty unforgiving path. Push! You clown! Okay, let's sack this. Bridge from below. Oh no! Wait, I don't understand. Why didn't I get a zombie? Oh, I did get a zombie. Okay. I was like, am I stupid? Train! Chew. Big chew. There's a lot of chewing. Alright, so now we need to draw a creature we can cast Hogak. And then we want to, then all we need is really another land to get this freaking altar in play. <laughs> We're in pretty good shape, despite looking to be pretty bad shape. If they rest in peace me, obviously that's kind of a problem, but it do be like that sometimes. Vengevine. And we got nothing going on. We have drawn the wrong half. Neonate's also a good draw. Neonate. Stitcher Supplier's a fine draw. Um, what else is like a good draw? Looting's obviously an insane draw. I'll even take like a grave crawler, just something to, like kind of get us going. This is like watch this be like a Kaya. Oh, so warden, that's fine. Really would like to put this altar into play. That would make me very happy. Land neonate. I'll take it. Neonate. Oh, no, that doesn't cast Hogak, does it? Oh, that's fine. Wait, no, it does. It does, because we can we can put the bridge in the yard. Hey, Butter, what's up? Baby is here. <laughs> Thanks for the resub. If you got a sub list, post it in the uh, sub list channel in the Discord. Uh, yeah, let's discard this bridge. Always yields. I wonder if we can get, like, surgical. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. Land. Damn it. Whoa. I don't think so. This is, like, another skill at a point. Like, am I supposed to play the Hogak knowing for almost certain that there's a Path to Exile on their hand? Like, the way they've played this game, I think it's kind of obvious they have Path to Exile, and I really don't want to get Pathed. So, do I play it? To play around path, or, or I'm sorry, do I not play it to play around path, or do I play it to play around rest in peace? The question is, if I get path, do I even care that much? I'm not sure that I care. I really want a second land, and we have three creatures in play. Cast it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast it. This only takes four cards out of our graveyard. Like one, two, three, four. I have far more than four cards. I'm going to get rid of. That's fine. All right, I don't think I have any responses, right? Nothing I actually need to do? No, I don't think so. All right, so yeah, like, now it's probably going to get Path Under Upkeep or whatever, but do want a second land. And we have, like, a million of them, so playing it playing it just makes sense, I think. We can just combo them next turn. Extra land would be nice anyway. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree with that assessment. The extra land's nice, and we have, like, a billion of them. Like I said, we just we just have, like, a million Hogax. I don't know why I was, like, trying to think, like, oh, I, I really want to protect it. I was thinking, like, protecting our graveyard was important, and it's just not. Like, like it, keeping those extra four cards in the graveyard was not relevant. All right, Gravecrawler. What does that mean for me? Uh, so we can Faithless Looting. I still don't want to attack, so let's Faithless Looting. Boop, boop. This looting needs to be kind of good. Okay, that counts as good. <laughs> that counts as pretty fucking good. Uh, so we can put Vengevine. Gravecrawler in the graveyard. Hold the Hogak. 
Just carrying feeder. They need to pass if they're going to pass me. They need to pass now. Like, badly. They really need to pass now. They cannot let me get this carrying feeder into play. Because I'm going to get two zombies and just start recasting the stupid Ogak. Yeah, here's the path. Took it long enough. Use path to accessibility. Yes. Although, I don't think it matters. I think we still just cast a Hogak anyway. Boop. Black. 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 That's why we didn't discard a Hogak. Uh, I need to pick three. One. Two. Uh, three. Stuff that doesn't do anything. Bring back Vengevine. Yes. Uh, and then we have these that we can sack whenever we want. I really want the bridges. So we have we have a combo kill next turn. So there's no reason to make any decisions here, I don't think. So with that in mind, we can sack, make four zombies, and then that cast four. We still need three more, and we don't have three cards we want to exile. We only have one. So I'm just going to pass. No decks. We have block sacks available to us. We just have, I mean, we have the whole nine yards available to us. And if we get rest in peace, then it'd be like that. Smuggler's copter, what the fuck? All right, let's combo the shit out of them. We're going we're gonna to, like, stumble our way through this altar of the dementia comp, altar of dementia combo. All right, well, no attacks means nothing. I have, like, a billion power in play. Altar of Dementia. Should have sacked this on in step so the zombies could attack. Actually, it's not true. Think you're dead, opponent. I don't know what you have, but I think you're dead. I am pretty confident that you are no longer alive. I don't know what this looks like, but it's going to look ugly. And you got, what, 47 cards? Yeah, that's, this is not going to go your way. If you have an Emrakul, I'm going to feel pretty stupid, though. It's easy. Mill yourself out, make a million zombies, kill them. Oh, so easy. Uh, so this exiles my bridges? Ugh. Uh, let's... Sack this. Alright, this is gonna kill their creature. Sack binge vine. So I just want to put as many zombies into play as I can. Before this stupid thing happens. Uh, now this is fine. Oh, never mind. I just had no text. I thought, uh, can you not target yourself with this to, like, kill your own soul warden? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, lol. <laughs> I thought they were going to... I'm sorry. They're on Thalys that did it? I thought they were going to kill their Thalys that did it. All right. Um, so, we can start off by just casting Hogak, right? Like, this doesn't require tapping, so we just cast Hogak the first time. We can also cast a grave crawler. Pretty big fan of that. Cast this. Sure. Uh, do this thing. Black, 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 black. Sure. Return all this nonsense. Yes. Okay. Okay. I need to always yield to that. We'll get around to it. So let's sacrifice a creature trigger, please. All right, let's sack target me. Mill, we'll use Hogak. Always yield. Just always yield to everything in this process. Always yield. All right, what do we get? Multiple Venge Vines. Oh, maybe I was supposed to wait to cast this Grave Crawler. I was probably supposed to wait. Although I don't actually know. I'm not very intelligent. Uh. So we can use these for mana before sacking them. So I guess we're supposed to just like Hogak. Black. Green. Black. 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 Pay two Delph. One. Pick one at random. Two. Uh. Sacrifice a creature. Target me. Mill eight. Multiple things. Uh. We got two zombies. Do this. One, two, black, black, uh, three. What are the things I don't want to exile? Four, five. We're, look, we're keeping all the things I don't want to exile in play. All right. 
So all the zombies that have minus one, minus one are like a lot worse to sacrifice. You have 47 cards. I can build myself for a lot more. Sacrifice, check me, sack this. What do I got, 10 minutes left to win like a bunch of games? Uh, we have a blood ghast. Um, boop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we need seven. Seven. Uh, sacrifice this, target me, sack this. What is this, a turn six combo? So broken, so powerful. All right, we got six cards left. So, do we have all our bridges? We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we got all our bridges. So I guess we just, like, start sacking stuff to mill them. Sure, let's just do that. Let's guess this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, sacrifice a creature, target you. I guess this is technically incorrect. I should use Hogak to help cast another Hogak before doing all this, I think, but um, whatever. I never claim to be smart. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Hogak. All right. They have 31 cards left. Black, black, black. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. All right, what do they have? 23 cards left? So I can just start sacking zombies, right? Oh, God, this is so miserable. All right, I actually have a plan. Here we go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sack this guy. Make some things. I don't know. Sack a zombie. Oh, that was an untapped zombie. I'm so bad. Cast this. Black, black, black. Holy cow, this is tedious. Ah! Sack this. Yeah, here's a million zombies. Sacrifice a creature, take at you, this thing. Here's seven zombies. What do you got? Three cards left? Who you? 70 million life. Who you? Alright, I guess I'm not gonna recast how got go. Alright, put me down to seven minutes. Nice and fast. I won. Wow. Modern. <laughs> This game sucks. That was so much fucking effort. Save targets? Yeah, I probably should have. Take this to an IQ. Wish you luck. All right, good luck, Niz. Hey, Javaz. Sorry, guys. What does the other option on Alter do? It saves targets, I think. Maybe Drake will realize all he needs to do is stack his, is sack his zombies to win. That takes so long, Tiki. I was stacking Hogak because it, like, it, like, is faster than clicking that many times. I don't know. Like, I, I actually don't think, I don't think it's faster to like sack my zombies than it is to just like mill them for eight at a time. Cause that's like, so it takes, to cast Ogak, it takes seven clicks cause I have to click the mana to cast it. And then to sack it is eight targets. So yeah, two more clicks. So I guess it's the same. So seven clicks. Whereas for the zombies to mill the same number of cards, it's sack, select. So yeah, it's eight clicks. Yeah, you save a click, right? You save a click casting Hogak again every time versus um, sacking zombies, and so, like, for the sake of saving clicks, I was like, I mean, my APM is nowhere near, like, efficient enough for that to, like, be inconsequential. Like, my, my, my APM is slow on Moto. It's not actually that slow. Alright, fine. Alright, what do we got? A good hand. Good hand, but like if they have rest in peace, I feel kind of dumb. Rest in peace, me. Watch me get Grafter's caged after bringing Wismares. I just think everyone should be on Leyline, so I'm gonna prepare for Leyline, but nobody's Leyline me. Also prepares for rest in peace, obviously. Fetch shock. Am I getting discard spelled? Blood soap champion. Broken. 
Uh, yeah, let's play this. Uh, let's fetch and shock. Uh, I think actually playing Marsh Flats in this deck is incorrect for what it's worth. I don't think I'm going to do anything. Ridge from below. Nice! Ridge from below is a good pickup. Hopefully they don't get ripped. They snap this off, they have the rip for sure. They snap this fetch land off, they have the rip. Uh-oh, they're not snapping it off. They're thinking about how they're going to see good Oh, no! They took some time with that. They took some time with that. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I don't feel comfortable. I think they have Rest in Peace. There's no way they tanked on playing Rest in Peace. All right, yeah, see, they didn't. Sure, they're going to aggro me down. What a plan. That is fine. I accept. Faithless looting. Um, hmm. I don't really want to Faithless looting. I won't lie to you. I want to play a Stitcher Supplier. No, not like this. I guess I could Faithless looting. Is that good? I don't really know. I kind of want to cast this insolent neonate. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to cast neonate. <laughs> and let's make a decision afterwards. <laughs> Stitcher supplier. Yeah, I'll just play no Stitcher supplier. Uh, boop. That's black. Stitcher supplier. Hogak. Vengevine. God, I'm an idiot. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm just bad. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Go. I do not want to attack or block in this turn. So this turn sequence is the last one I think we're going to have without attacking or blocking. Like, I want to be able to put all my things into play next turn. So, that's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, it's going to put me kind of low in life, but, like, they have this, like, weird aggressive draw that, like, I think we're just going to be able to go around. So, I'm not really upset about it. If we don't, if they don't have Graveyard Hate here, they're very dead, I think. And we're actually not going to alter them. We're going to actually kill them the hard way, so. <laughs> Ethand Comer. Play Bolus' house. Deck slaps. I'm good. We're going to make, yeah, <laughs> we're going to make approximately a billion powers. So that's pretty good. You like this more than Phoenix? I don't think I like it more than Phoenix. I mean, this is my second match with it where I punted the first one egregiously. And I've punted this one egregiously. But um, because this deck is pretty busted, we're like still faring. And my opponent's deck is just not playable. We're like having like a pretty reasonable game. Block with suppliers? Why would I do that? This is fine and I'm okay. Like next turn, if we hit a sack outlet, we just put like a million D billion power into play, right? Like, we're only taking five. We'll go to eight. It's going to eight seems fine. We're going to make a million zombies, right? Like, we're going to make a Venge Vine, a Blood Gas, like, a Stitcher Supplier, a Grave Crawler. Like, we should have, like, a million things. I don't think I want to block here. I think I want to block next turn, but I don't think I want to block here. I guess... I don't know. I think we want to block next turn. Maybe a block of Stitcher Supplier is fine. The thing is, I kind of want to use them to, like, team up and double block. I don't know. That might just be bad, because, like, we're going to make zombies. Like, I kind of wanted to use them. I don't know. Thinking about it now, I think you might be right. I think I might just be really stupid. Whatever. I'm so bad. Mm. Yeah, like, now what do I do? Like, attack? Like, I can't attack through the confidant. Yeah, you're so right. I'm so bad. Like, I just really didn't want to block this turn. But now I think that was bad. Pretty free to lead off on Faithless Looting, right? Looting. Now we have Supplier, Supplier. It's pretty good. Um, looting land. This land? Nah. This land. It's less life. Yes. Oh. Let's, let's let this happen. Always yes, always yields. I'm not going to play around Anger of the Gods. If you have Anger of the Gods, you got me. Um, Stitcher Supplier. Let's try to make a Hogak. I want to make a Hogak happen. Alright, Black Stitcher Supplier. Hogak, please. Avenge Vine. Yes. Like, now I have, like, I feel like I have, like, good double blocks. I don't know. This This might all just be so bad. Hogak. Tap. What can't block this? And... 
this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go to combat. I guess. Do we attack? I don't think I want to. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Like, if my plan was to block a bunch, then that's still the plan. So let's let's do that. We'll block a bunch and attack for more next turn if they don't have anything. Like, I don't know. This might this might have been just overly conservative. I just feel really burned after game one getting really aggressive and then like. I mean, the game one I just missed Blade, but, like, I felt like I got aggressive and, like, died. Whereas, like, this, I feel like, as long as they don't have Graveyard Hate, we're just going to win as time, this game goes to infinity. Even with four minutes on the clock, like, I'm just going to start clicking right-click attack with all. <laughs> like, the game's going to get very hard for them because Hogak is a big boy. Big boy. And, like, yeah, I just want to line up, like, a bunch of great blocks with Stitcher Suppliers. So that, like, even though we're going to lose bridges, we're going to refill our graveyard. I don't know. Like, obviously very conservative. Clock Drake, play faster. I ain't trying to double block and lose bridge. I am. Are you not? Okay. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I kind of want to just like clear their board. Like, what are they going to do? I guess they just have no good attacks now. But like, we can start beating down with Hogak. All right, fine. Big bad. Like, we just can't attack him now. I don't know. I suck. What you doing? All right, we'll chop, I guess. We'll chump keep the bridges. Maybe they'll figure out this stack's bad. I'm trying to make champion bigger, which makes sense, but like, I don't know. I think this deck's kind of bad. You might be thinking about pathing before blocks. Yeah, they're going to path before blocks. That's fine. Okay. No. All right, let's play a little bit faster. Try to finish this game. Uh, we can put a second one here. All right. Yeah, I've, I've been convinced that the right play was probably to just throw these in the graveyard. So we're going to mill nine cards and get six zombies. <laughs> was that a good attack opponent? Was that a good one? What do you think? What you got? Just like paths. You have more paths. Just like pathing everything. Push your own creature. That is fine. Yep. Probably just had this line the whole time. Okay. Still milling nine cards is fine, so but I do feel stupider for not trading. Blech, mill a bunch. Let's make something happen. Alright, we can bring back some Venge Vines. Uh crap. Let's fade this looting. Cards. More cards. Altar of Dementia, Carrion Feeder. Is there any bridges? There's one. Uh, it's been these. We're not going to be able to alter them, so we should play this. Um, sack this. Oh, that was stupid. I should have sacked the Citrus Supply first. I'm so bad. Uh, whatever. Alright. Sack this. I don't care if I build on the stack, however. Oh no, I just want to interact. Three minutes. Now we actually need to speed up. Pop this out. What is this? Exiled? Goodbye. Okay. Always yield. Waste five seconds there. Um cast. Grave crawler. Always, yes, always, yes, always, yes, always, yes, always yield. All right, put a bunch of stuff into play. Then we can sack this, make a zombie. And then we get to go to combat attack. Let's cast our hog act first. Black. Let's make let's make like two more zombies. Uh, 
one, two, three, oh my god, four, five. Um, all right, make a zombie, cast this, one, two, all right, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, combat, quick attack with all, all right, this is just lethal, this is probably just lethal, I probably just did all that just to be like, I mean, I did it to practice mechanics, but this is probably like super overkill, yay, we win, wow, that was turn four, that was just turn four, that game took forever, it felt like it, that was turn four, nuts, all right, well, deck's great if you aren't a monkey like me, <laughs> we got there, Drake, he's already dead, stop, I swear, Drake just killed a man. No, I was trying to actually do things efficiently. What if he has surgical extraction? Okay, he would have cast a long time ago. <laughs> Could have gut shot to kill two gut shots. No, two gut shots doesn't do anything. All right, fine. You guys are right. There's literally nothing I can think of. I'm trying to practice here, chat. I played so bad by trying to just attack and kill them in game one. I'm trying to, like, not be a moron. It's hard for people like me. Black Forest, that's it? Yeah, what does Black Forest do? It kills all the creatures who came to play that turn? That would be disgusting, because it just, like, gives me a billion zombies, right? Uh, what does this do? This has, like, a Hogak. It has, like, a Gravecrawler and a Neonate. This hand's just, like, kind of mopey. Am I just, like, spoiled? I feel like this hand's probably good enough. I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand feels good enough. It's actually not even that reliant on the graveyard. Like, we actually might be able to cast this hog act pretty easily. Just, like, naturally. It feels, like, kind of good. What is this? Oh, no. I don't know what that means, but it's probably not good for me. Yeah, like, I think we could turn two or three hog act. I haven't actually done the math. Math is for blockers. Let's play this. Play this. And, like, we can discard blood gas and put it into play. Do all kinds of stuff. Go. Don't gut shot me. If you gut shot me and this dies, I will concede. On the spot. Waterlog Grove, so broken. What is this? Don't stone rain me. Oh no! <laughs> Don't turn three combo me. Don't modern me. Uh yeah, let's untap and draw. Let's see if we can draw a better one. That's a better one. That certainly, certainly qualifies as a better one. Oh, I yield. Draw a good one. Tilt. No faithless looting. A. Let's put Bloodgast into play. All right. This is a turn three hog act, but that honestly might just be too slow. Like, this hit might have just been too slow and mopey. I thought there was merit to it, but I don't know. Maybe there's just not. Boop. Here's this. Yeah, like this is turn two. We're not doing anything busted. I don't know. It just kind of feels, just kind of feels like we have the things. We just need like, like any broken beast like gives us a busted draw and like the rest of the draws are just like fine. That is okay. I don't know what my opponent is doing. Snow stuff. Snow stuff. Devoted combo. I don't think it's any of these things. Shaker's obviously playing around Intervention Pact last game. I mean, yeah, obviously. Come on. Like, what do I look like? An idiot? This is like make mana. Untap target creature. Sure. Do you just like make mana? So you have four mana. What does that give you? I don't chase the mind sculptor. Better than all. Bound zombie token. Brainstorm. The old brainstorm. Broke. My opponent played a turn three Jace the mind sculptor. Oh, wow. And held up path to exile. There is the broken card. All right, well, let's uh, do a thing. Um, hit this looting. Sacrifice outlet, please. Consider encountering this. If I get spell pierced, holy shit. Force of negation. God damn, son. All right, fine. You made your point. Uh, their creature dies. We get a zombie and lose bridge. Can we cast Hogak anyway? Uh, Hogak just gets bounced, so maybe we attack Jace. 
It's almost like kind of fine. I don't really care about any of these other cards, just like a bridge. All right, we're doing it. We're throwing the bridge away. They have two cards left. Not even haste. Attack of all creatures and Jace. All right. Block one, lose bridge. Jace goes to two. Path one. Oh no. Well, they did this out of order. They should have blocked, I think. Grave crawler. Land. This is not enough, so we'll just pass. Can't believe we got Force of Negation. Looked good, too. Like, I would love to flashback looting next turn. But no! We're about to get Knight of the Reliquary instead. Whatever your opponent's doing is cooler than you. Fat Kid Destroyers? He's destroying Fat Kids. Is that cooler? Is that cool to you? Oh, sorry, Shadows. Your opponent's enchantment... My opponent's enchantment says, whenever a land enters, they can tap... Or, I'm sorry, they can tap or untap their creature and scry one. Can't believe we got Force Negation. I mean, Force Negation plus Jace the Mind Sculptor is what we in the Legacy Biz call a combo. But it is, like, kind of wild. That's what just happened to me. Oh, no. What is this? Are we just dead? I'm just going to F6 and see what their plan is. Because this doesn't combo this turn. This has to have, like, not summoning sickness, right? I don't want to fetch. Okay. Stitcher supplier. I don't know how many lands they have in their deck, but I guess we'll figure it out. Binge vine. <laughs> None of these let me sack creatures. Let's just fetch. Not going to show them white. Black, black. Oh, I can't spend mana. I shot for no reason. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, things that can't block. Hmm. I was supposed to tap this, wasn't I? It was the better blocker. But I think blocking... I thought blocking was going to be important, but like I kind of wanted to attack the Jace down. I don't know. I shocked, so we have big dick energy. Uh, go. <laughs> I don't know. We're probably dead. Uh, they have this like stupid thing going on. I, I don't know, dude. They have to like bounce a thing, tap a thing, do more things, and I probably lose. Ice Fang Quaddle. Do you have three? Oh, you have three? Oh, yeah. That's so broken. Flash Baffle Strix. I don't think I have a hope of beating this deck. It's like a recipes deck that's also doing something good. We can probably make enough toughness not to die tonight in the Voltron. I mean, the thing is, like, the Knight's just going to tap down. Like, they're just going to grab Fetch Lines and tap down all my shit. So, like, if we're going to die to that, we're going to die that way. Okage stream. Yeah, I mean, we're both playing Legacy out here. Oh, no, Teferi. So you just, like, bounce a thing, bounce a thing, start sacking lands. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, they figured it out. They figured it out. Whatever, my combo takes a long time, so we're going to get handsomely ahead on time before. So that, like, when I go to combo, I don't, I don't like, time out. Go over to the fetch land. Fetch. Tap my thing. Untap knight. They don't really need to do this, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Float three mana. Oh, this lets them put the stupid thing in the graveyard. Fetch. They're nine. 10. Tap my last creature. Yeah, there you go. Oh no. We got a knight comboed. This deck is stupid. 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I don't die where we think. They're quick with these motions, too. Oh no. What are you casting? Why are you casting things? You're using mana. Why? Why show me more things? Shall I? That is fine. 
Okay. Alright. Bunch of fetch lands. Reading pool, stuff like that. Make more mana, crack the waterlogged grove after you're done filtering your entire deck. 14. Uh, also them. Oh, they have, they have enough. They have land, right? Yeah, they have enough lands. All right, we're done here. They have enough lands. I get it. I get it. Uh, they're a rest in peace deck, right? So I'll put this in. <laughs> Do we try to shut off their combo with Leyline of the Voids? Seems horrible. Actually, just heinous. Necrotic Room seems awful. They also have Planeswalkers. This is all terrible. Everything's awful. They have creatures to block, which makes Bridge worse, but I guess we're not supposed to cut those. Maybe Altar's fine. Altar seems fine. Bloodgast seems mopey. I really don't like Bloodgast very much in this deck. Got like a Hogak, because they're probably a Path deck. All right, we'll try something like this. <laughs> Nonsense sideboarding. When in doubt, don't overboard. That is my lesson. That's my lesson to you. When in doubt, do not overboard. Because if you don't know what you're doing, just keep the deck the same and try to execute the same game plan. You'll be fine. Uh, what does this do? I only have one thing I want to go with the graveyard, so I guess we'll keep. We're going to alter them, probably. Uh, let's shock. And put this into play. Pretty excited. The reason I kept this hand is alter. If we get Force Negation on the altar, I'm going to be a little sad, but not that sad. Uh, yeah, I'll shock this into play. So we could Faithless Looting. I guess we have three discard outlets and two things we want to discard. Uh, let's go to combat and attack. Decided I just want to play altar this turn. deck I could just not carrying feeder plus this what plays around rest in peace the best <sighs> wound kills night yeah I might have screwed this turn up I don't know whatever we committed we committed to playing altar we're gonna do it if they rest in peace me though I feel a little dumb I won't lie I will not lie to you. I feel stupid if I get rest in peace. I mean, it's fine because like I plan to get rest in peace too. Yeah, this altar plan was really bad. I just like like yeah, I want to get enough things in the play to really start this engine going. I should have put the creatures to play. Man, I am bad at this deck. Actively bad. Oh well, I can beat that. We can definitely beat that. Wisp mare. Well, I just draw the Wisp Mirror all the time like a god, so that's about how that goes. Uh, go Vengevine. Black Cleave Glyphs. That lets me looting. Faithless looting. Nice. Grave Crawler. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I want black. Oh, I need to have a zombie in play. Crap, I didn't play around surgical like I wanted to. Should have put this in the play first. Never mattered. Yes. Now do we attack? Ugh. No. Yes. Yes. This is not death touch, right? Oh, it doesn't have death touch. Never mind, we're fine. I thought it had death touch. It does not matter. Attack anyway. Go. Mm, we might we might were supposed to main phase mill there. I didn't I was like maybe go looking for Hogak, but like I was like, hey, if they have a, if they have rest in peace on this turn, I would rather have not milled. What is this? A walker? What you got? Ashiok minus one. Oh well, I still feel still feel pretty smart. I'll take one time hits any day. That's fine. What did you exile? Two Vengevines and a Hogak? What the fuck? Okay. Is this three or more? As long as you can tell three or other stone performance. Jesus Christ, dude. Scum. 
All right, now let's refill the graveyard. Sorry, guys. Get me on this. Hit a bridge and two venge vines. That's pretty good. Sacrifice creature. Take me. Sack this. Oh, he's yield. Oh, well, that's a blood guest. Black. Cast this. Sacrifice creature. Me. This. All right, a second grave crawler. No more blood ghasts. So we can bring everything back. We can still hold for more. Well, you can still hold for more blood ghasts. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um. I don't want to get these caught by the Ashiok, so let's just sacrifice this little two cards at a time black grave crawler sack me this all right whatever yes um black grave crawler all right, we got a bridge, which is gonna get exiled by this anyway, so attacking is fine. Uh, I guess we can just attack Ashiok. Hmm, yeah, that's pretty good. All these are new, right? Every single one of these? Yep. Uh, it's going to Ashiok, this going to Ashiok? Sure, we'll just do like this. All right. Not bad. Not shabby. I'll take it. I'll take it. And then obviously we can sack the Venge Vine that they block. Pretty good shape. Maybe it means I'm supposed to attack with the Carrion Feeder. Nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Knight, you got it. So now we probably should actually, like, try to kill them. That's fine, because, like, we have a way better turn coming. Carrion Feeder. Okay. Can we just like mill to Hogak now? I think we can. So let's just. I don't have any lands. Uh, let's do this first. Mill four. Then we'll do this. Took it me. Sacrificing this next. Mill four. Multiple listeners. How many bridges did we hit? We hit none. So there's like a bunch left in this little thing here. All right. Take me, sack this. All right, let's try to Hogak, please. No, huh? Oh, Jesus, dude. Second bridge. Hogak. All right, now we're in shape. Now we are in shape. Gravecrawler. We're about to get surgical. Oh, no, don't surgical me. I mean, there's like three different things you have to surgical, so good luck. Good luck, have fun. All right, cool. Let's try to get a little bit faster with this. Check it me, sacrifice this. All right, we are going to build them out now. Uh, so next thing casts, uh, next thing brings back Finch Finds, which there's only two left, so it's fine to go ahead and cast it. Black, cast. Uh, always yes, always yes, always yield. 15 minutes. Only down two minutes right now? We're doing fine. We're doing fine. This is great. So much thinking. So much milling. I wonder if this is easier in paper. I don't actually know. Okay. Now we can cast Hogak. Black, 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 black. Uh, 
I guess we should just start using graveyard. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's finish this up on milling ourselves here. Sacrifice creature, take me. Sacrifice go back. All right. Now we can start doing the thing. Cast Hogak. Uh, all right, cast Hogak. Now I guess we just mill our opponent for approximately a million. Goodbye. Mill you. Blurp, 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 blurp. I guess we should save targets on this now. Oh, thank God. Thank fucking God. You know what? For as douchey as I was to them game one, I really appreciate them conceding this. This is harder in paper? Good God. This is pretty fucking hard online. This is like so much clicking. I mean, it at least highlights stuff for you, but like I assume you do the dredge thing where you're like, okay, here's a pile of cards. It doesn't matter. Here's the pile of cards that are graveyard relevant. But we, we did okay that time. We did okay that time. Um, I guess we'll just put the one shenanigans in case they have like, I don't know, in case they have something. Altar looked great. I didn't want altar. I guess looked bad. Get out. On the draw, I'm going to hedge in case they have Graft Digger's Cage. I'm putting one shenanigans in my deck. It's pretty free to do. And like, like I said, if they have artifacts, hate instead of ley lines, then it's great. This hand is good if they don't have rest in peace. Actually, if they have rest in peace on two, it's like almost still fine. Because we got the good the good beat down plan here. Okay. Wismere? No Wismere. Alright. Uh... Let's black Stitcher Supplier. Bad cards. Tilt. That was a bad Stitcher Supplier, but we have Carrying Feeder next turn. It looks like their hate might have been Ashiok, which, like, if it's Ashiok, that is nice for us. It is real nice. No responses to anything you're doing. If they don't, if that's not their hate, I mean, we have, we have four power assembled here. Ice Fing... Quaddle, you got it. I'm gonna get Ashiok here. Uh, this is bad. I'm bad. I'm supposed to attack for one and then play both creatures, I think. I might, in order to hedge. I might... No, I'm going to hold everything. I'm going to hold everything. I've decided I'm going to hold everything. Oop. I thought, I thought about hedging for... Also, I haven't sequenced my fetch lands right for like the player on Ashiok, because Ashiok keeps us from searching. Like, I don't know. I don't know if there's ever a time where I'm going to want like a billion mana, but whatever. All right, they do have the Ashiok. Okay. Hogak. It's pretty good. Uh, so if we attack all out at Ashiok, what happens? Not in love with this situation. Is there a way we can kill it? They block carry and feeder. It takes three. Mm. Okay. Am I supposed to do stuff before I actually attack Ashiok here? It's like if I sack Stitcher Supplier and I hit enough creatures, we can just carry and feeder into it. Creatures at Ashiok. I'm gonna hope they. I don't know. I'm gonna hope this works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what their blocks look like. I think they're supposed to block here, and then like be like, okay, Drake. Now what are you gonna do? Forehead and like I'm gonna sack this Stitcher Supplier. Uh, yo, yo. And then it takes two. Oh my God, Avenge Vine. I'm such an idiot. Uh, sacrifice this. They have surgical and feel kind of dumb. Black, here's this. 
Um, one. I guess we can't cast Ogek. I'm pretty bad at this game. Whatever, I guess we could just put like infinity counters in this carrion feeder. Because like we can't use it to like pay sack and like make another mana, right? Each creature you tap while casting a spell pays for one or more. So you can't like float convoke mana. That's so weird. I wish you could like float convoke mana and then like sack re put it into play and then like make more convoke mana, but I guess there's no way to float. You have to like announce that you're casting it. Oh shit, I suck. What is this? Does this put it into play? Oh no, it doesn't anyway. Alright. Cool. Black. Put this into play. Okay. Hmm, in that case I should have played a fetch land and just thrown the fetch land in the graveyard. Right. One, two. No, I'm still mana short. Alright, well, whatever. Let's sec this. Pump our thing up constantly. Boop. Here's this thing. All right. I definitely screwed this game up, but I don't think we're going to get punished for it. So there you go. Go. All right. We have a bunch of power. We just like have them dead, right? <clears throat> sack Venge Vine, Sack Grape Crawler, make a bunch of power. I guess I should wait. And, like, there's a chance I want to sack something in response to a path. Don't want to have six. Make that mistake again. Astrolabe. Hey, Jeff Linda. Hell yeah, hog act time. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> this deck is complicated, Jeff. It's very complicated. Have you played it all with it yet? I think I could have made a hog act, but I think I needed to be better at this game in order to do that, right? I don't actually know. Astrolabe, they got five cards in hand. I don't really know what their plan is. Like, none of these things that we're doing here are force negationable. Oh, that's pretty stupid good. That is very, very stupid good. All right, yeah, let's just do all this stuff first. Uh, no. Yes, yes, we should do this all first. Let's discard this. Uh, it was yield. All right, this, ugh, this deck, man, I swear. Okay. Oh, Faithless Suiting is also quite good. Actually, it might not be good enough. Sacrifice a creature. Sacrifice this. We might just try to kill them. <gasps> I screwed up. God, I suck at this game. Ugh. Clicked the wrong key. What's it, what are we doing? Do we even care about this Ashiok? I don't think we do. Alright, we're we'll stack them down to three. You have a path? Yeah, oh my god. I'm so bad. Oh, I played so bad. Maybe maybe I actually didn't screw this up, though. Like, I didn't really play around path at all. Sack my thing. Alright. Sack this. Make a zombie. Yes. Make a zombie. Make more zombies. Also probably just mistapped too. Oh gek. Um they're probably gonna cash out their Ashiok. So I don't see a reason not to. Black green, black, black. And if they don't, I mean they're just like unbelievably dead, right? Uh I think it's fine to play this land. Go. No more tricks. Just got you dead on board. Gosh. Clicking on moto. Something I'll never screw up in paper. That does not kill me. But a fetch land does tap my stuff down. Do you have tap my stuff down? All right. Exile the top four cards in my library. How many cards do I got left? 30? I was just going to say, sure. <laughs> oh, my God. I played so sloppy. I've played sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. But we're slogging through. We're two and one. We're doing it. Yeah, once I got the 5 0, spent more of my clock on this deck than any other. Yeah, he's done. Get him out of here. Facts.
By the way, I'm sorry I'm not going to be in Dallas, Tiki. I don't play GPs. GPs are bad EV. I mean, a bunch of people going to, like, DC and Seattle aren't even playing the main event, which is unreal. Yeah, yeah, I played that game just heinously sloppy. Has the Blackwood Mentor deck come up yet? It has not. We're gonna we have to finish slugging through this deck first and like I mean, I mean we're only an hour and forty five minutes in, so we're still well within like my normal time for a league, but like gosh, this deck this deck is a lot of thinking. I'm glad I played this one first. Um how am I supposed to lead off? Probably on Stitcher Supplier. I have two grave crawlers, I'm okay ditching, and I want a second land. So I think I'm actually supposed to lead off on looting. This is a tough one. So we lead off on looting, discard two grave crawlers, but we're not going to cast them for a long time. Or we can lead off on Stitcher Supplier, try to get a quick Hogak. But we're still going to turn to Hogak probably anyway with double Stitcher Supplier, so I don't think that matters. So if we go Stitchers... Yeah, I want to draw a second land. I think I'm going to lead on looting just because I want to draw a second land. If I draw a second land, I think I'm going to play Stitcher Supplier first. All right. Egg Dad, is this Edgar? I think I'm playing against Edgar. He might be streaming. Uh, keep. All right, Edgar, what you doing? Edgar Magiesh. SCG Tour Professional. People are interested in Mentor? Yeah, the Mentor deck's hot. Come on, Giver of Runes. You got it, buddy. Bloodgast. All right, I'll take it. P2 Life. Red, looting. Uh, let's not play against like a play like a donkey against Edgar. Um, go. Really wish I had a second land there. Tilt that I did not. I had three looks at a second land in a nineteen land duck with eighteen in a fifty three. I don't know what the odds are. I don't care about this giver. Which means we're not going to attack for a million years. That's what this giver means. Yeah, you don't. I don't think you should attack. Land. Damn it. Red, neonate. This card, this, draw a card. Land, please. Damn it. All right, obviously I was doing that just to try to find a land. If we draw land at any point, we're in good shape. If we don't, we're going to die. Ugh. No! So tilting. I guess we should start playing Stitcher Supplier just to try to get power in play. Because we have we have a Hogak we want to cast. But I mean, all the cards we put in the graveyard so far, we don't even really want to exile. Yeah, it's Edgar. I have both of you up. I ain't saying shit. That's fine, Rob. I miss Taken Turns Quad Sleeve Guy? Right. <laughs> like, that's a nightmare for coverage. Uh, I'm going to go watch Edgar. Rude. Incubation. That is fun. All right, well. <sighs> we got, so far, a non-game. If we draw a land, we're super in it. But we definitely need to draw a black land. Although, I guess all of our lands are black at this point in time. Deputy Detention. Fuck you. <laughs> Dick. That's going to be a problem. This year. Lance. Dang. All right. What the doctor ordered. Stitcher supplier. Cane feeder neonate. All right. Let's fetch. I'm going to shock in case he's a path to exile deck. I don't think he's going to... I think if we die this game, it's not going to be to... Um, what you call it? I don't think it's going to be to uh, damage. Mill three. Nothing that I particularly care about. Combat. Attack you for eight. There's a very good chance we're just dead next turn, but it do be like that. I guess we're not dead. Play proc. Oh, no. We could still be dead, obviously. Uh, you take four. Go to 16. Uh, Hogak. Boop. All right. 
No sack outlets, nothing to care about. Go. Alright, we have a billion power. Don't just devote a druid me, please. I mean, he drew, he drew deputy detention, which is, like, kind of irritating, but we have, like, two kind of big things. We have Venge Vines and Hogax, so, like, I think the presence of the two big things gives us enough, like, stuff that matters. The thing is, Giver of Runes is kind of a pain. Like, if he just exiles Hogak, like, Giver of Runes is going to make Venge Vines pretty hard to attack with. The Dota Druid has sickness. Is this semi sickness? That's true. Go. Yep. Think he's supposed to exile Hugak. Yep, this makes a lot of sense. Now he has pretty reasonable blocks. Insolent Neonate's not bad. Red Neonate's. Uh, King Gravecrawler, we can do all that after combat. So I guess we should just go to combat and attack with everybody. Attack with all. I was thinking about maybe what if we draw a Sacrifice Outlet, but I don't think that impacts our combat this turn. Yep, that is big fine. Big fine. Yep. Yeah, I don't like the, the Giver of Ruins block. I think I think you're supposed to just take those free points. Like, letting me mill more cards is just not good for you at all. You need to make a lot more stuff happen. All right, block here. Free block on the Ghast. Um... Discard a grave crawler, draw a card, land, ding. Uh, let's play this land. Uh, okay, I don't think I want to bring this back. Let's cast this grave crawler. Don't want to cast this other grave crawler. It's tough. Our plan is go wide. If our plans go wide, we want to cast the grave crawler. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna play all this stuff. I was thinking about like trying to line up some kind of um some kind of like conservative player on deputy thing but like we're trying to go wide and he's already played a deputy like if he wants to kill my mopey stuff like our blood gas have haste too like come on we're just gonna pass our hand's good like then he needs to have such like this insane series of draws in order to actually like do anything that matters he's been missing land drops too like he's been stuck on two lands at the gemstone caverns there's a chance he just has the gemstone caverns in hand as like a lotus petal for like a company or something but like we're still in pretty good shape and, like, we're still getting damage through. <laughs> we're the aggressor in every matchup. That's true. That's true. We probably are. But, like, I don't know. Like, it does feel like there's times where we can play the long game because, like, we can establish, like, we can just get under our opponent so hard that we're going to win as the game goes to infinity. So, like, I feel sometimes, like, I don't know. I just feel sometimes, like, it's there's no need to go as hard as possible. About to do my best Kyle impression. That is big fine. Do we even have anything I want to do on this turn? I don't think so. Look at that. Monster. Zero calories. Gotta watch my girlish figure. Sponsor me. My name's Kyle, I promise. Another Vizier. You got it. Here's a bunch of shitters. Draw. Bridge from below. You don't hate to see it. Uh, am I supposed to looting? Like, these are both things I want to discard. I could just cast this Bloodgast. Like, put another thing into play and attack. I think I'm going to do that. I just, like, don't care. We'll gr we'll use these lootings to grind out if we start, like, slipping. But right now, like, I think we still have insane attacks. So I plan to right-click attack with all. Right-click attack with all creatures. Go! I'm at 12. Are they anywhere close to killing me? Two, three, four, five, six. No. Okay. I, it occurred to me I need to start actually caring about that. Yeah, that block's pretty free. That block is going to get procced. That's a chump. Then you can trade. Yeah, trade off Vizier. I like this. But, like, my Bloodgast still have haste. So, like, if I just looting into a land next turn, like, my Bloodgast is going to have haste and we're going to slam. I don't know. We're still in really good shape. 
And I think we basically won this game. Like, he's taking a billion with these blocks. He's taking, like, six. Yeah, I go to four. Like, right, good luck. Like, we, we have to miss on a land off our looting and our draw steps. So we have three more looks at a land. I actually kind of think he's might supposed to be. Oh, I guess I should, like, not have six in case he blocks um, grave crawlers. But this is fine. Protect the bird. What do you need from the bird? You have no viziers left, and you're at four. All right, whatever. I don't have a land. And if I did, I'd, I wouldn't play it anyway. All right. Horizon Canopy. You got a million mana. What you got? It's got to be like Collect a Company, right? Four blockers. A million attackers. Three looks at a land. This game, this game ended up being pretty interesting, given how like how we stumbled and how Edgar stumbled. Eldrami's call, sure. Another giver of runes would be kind of nice. Devoted druid. Okay. Uh, giver of runes. All right, those are all magic cards. So I just need to hit a land. I just need to hit a land. They're very dead. Land, land, bridge from below. Guess with flashback to land. Ding. Triggers. Alright, here we go. Dagger log creatures. Taste it! Taste it! Taste it! Very dead. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> I am smarter than Canadian. Look how smart. Smart, 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 smart. I am so smart. All right, get these necrotic wounds in my deck. They're probably, it's probably a recipe deck too. Put all this crap in here. This card gets blocked for actually ever. I actually think Alter is like our key to success in this matchup. It's like, I want all this crap out. I want this out. This is like still explosive. I still want my sack outlets. Um, Don't really want to cut a land. I don't think there's any chance we're going to get pathed. I need to keep my creature count pretty high, but everything I'm bringing in is a creature except the necrotic wounds, so maybe I'm supposed to cut a spell, cut like a bridge. Is that is that bad? Cutting bridge feels bad. I'm gonna cut a bridge. I just wanna keep my spell count kinda high. I mean, I'm sorry, my creature count kinda high because I'm bringing in a million necrotic wounds. Maybe that's just like bad. I mean, I don't know. We kind of need to like do that because like we can't interact with like a turn three combo very well. So like, I think we're supposed to have the removal spells. Hardcast bridge, that's just too too broken. Can I tell him you said you're smarter? Yeah, feel free. Please tell him that I said I'm smarter. <laughs> this hand blows. Am I keeping it anyway? No, Mulligan. This hand is much better. I will keep this. I don't want a land. White land. That's fine. Faithless looting. Uh, black Stitcher Supplier. I actually might should have Faithless Looting there. That might have been wrong. Go. What you got, opponent? What you got? Oh no, we're gonna get blown up. I didn't want to fade this looting yet because I wanted to use it to dig for things like wisp mares. If I get rest in peace, rest in pieces. Did -did. Oh no. Well, now we have a necrotic wound. We're actually like in pretty good shape. Give reverence. Okay. Okay, and rule spell. Carrion feeder. I'll take it. Carrion feeder's good. Yes. Um. So I'm supposed to play Carrion Feeder, sack this, mill three cards. Let's do all, no, I'm supposed to, yes, I'm supposed to do that. Carrion Feeder, sacrifice this, put a counter on it. Okay, mill three. Okay, play this, and then I'm supposed to fetch and shock. Got the shrine. Doop, 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 
Yeah, we'll grab the Goblet Shrine. Yes, I would like to pay two life. And I was supposed to necrotic wound the devoted druid. Go. This plays a little bit longer game, but I don't know. Like, we still got some stuff going on. Still got some stuff worth doing. Green. That is fine. Yes. That's a lot of mana creatures. Now we have a three, two power flyer. One card left. Casting it anyway. It is a walking ballista on one. Well, glad we sacked her carrying feeder. Oh, God, that's just a nut. Oh, it's so good. Faithless looting is what we're supposed to lead off on. What you doing, opponent? You have zero cards in hand. Ooh, two Venge Vines, you say. Oh, no. I have no way to do anything, right? Uh, hmm. Vinge Vine Bridge, I guess, is the play then. Pff. Black Stitcher Supplier. This is spell. This is creature number one. I'm not going to pass priority, I guess. And then that way we can get our thing. Oh, sure. Get a zombie. I think he could have, like, sacked this and, like, actually stopped this from happening. Oh, no. I think we had to hit a... What's it called? Gravecrawler? I didn't take them all out of my deck, did I? We can attack, but they just have the block plus giver. It's not insane. Whatever. We have a flashback looting next turn. We just need to find some creatures, which kind of sucks that we don't have enough creatures to flip. I mean, the Gravecrawler obviously qualifies, but I hate how much time we're giving him the process. Like, we need to bring these Venge Vines back, and now, like, we're going pretty slow. All right, you drew two cards, and you have three mana left over. Christ. Horizon can't be so broken. I don't know. The bridge, bridge, I think, is fine. Like, if they want to cash in their ballista, I think I'm okay with that. Oh, wow, they have a devoted drip. Sure. That was good. I think we're going to lose this one. Okay, not very optimistic here. Land. Well, now is as good a time as any. Flashback looting. Creatures! I didn't take that many out. I only took one guess out. Two bridges. There's a grape crawler. Uh, I'm going to discard these. Um, yeah, I'm going to discard these. Hitting a second bridge is pretty rough. Because, like, it means the ballista is just going to be worth more. If we have Vizier, we're very dead. But they've been through two, right? No, they've only been through... They've been through none. Blech. We're so dead. He needs to find a way to tutor a Vizier, and we are very dead. Because he already has the walking ballista in play. Or just play Vizier out of hand. Little Jami's call. Devoted Druid. You love to see it. All right. Bunch of idiots. I can beat a bunch of idiots. I think he's hesitant to sack this Ballista because it, like, lets him... That's pretty good. Uh... Black. Here's a grave crawler. Probably should correct the ballista here. Okay, don't. Up to you. Uh, boop. What am I doing? Oh, the old. Uh, 
Make some zombies. This was bad. I should have cast the second creature. But I'm still trying to get him to cash in this Ballista. I still should have cast the Insulin Neonate first. Return all the Venge Vines. Ugh, this was such a misplay. Playing so bad. I'm just never going to show it to him. That's the big brain play. Actually, I am. What is this? Can you just instant speed kill me? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Mebo! Thanks for the rating 25. I really appreciate it. How was your stream, girl? I just super punted. That's okay. Boop. Get good cheesecake. I would love to get good cheesecake. Cheese cook sounds wonderful. Thank you for asking. All right. How goes everybody? Hi Drake. Hope you're doing well. I think. Do you think? Do you think Mono Green Tron slash Karn the Great Creator will see a ban in July? I do not. I think of all the things going on in modern, Karn the Great Creator is depressingly one of the fairer. <laughs> one of the fairer things to be doing. We're playing against Edgar right now, and I just actually massively punted. But that's okay. All right, we're gonna put another counter on a carrion feeder. Oh, no. Sacrifice this. Put another counter on my carrion feeder. Black. Now we're not dead to a vizier for what it's worth. And we have a lot of power. Tag with all. We only have really like one good block. So we're actually in good shape to win this game despite me like heinously punching it. All right, I'm gonna have six. Because, well, actually, I'm going to have six. Yeah, I'm going to have six in my turn. This shall pass. What's up? Two and three? Yikes. Did you go two, three with Hogak? Sack the zombie response. Why you do this? It doesn't matter, right? Oh, yeah, it does matter. It's an extra counter. Whatever. He's at three. I don't think he's planning on grinding this game out. <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. It does matter a lot. Get Good Cheesecake has gifted a sub tier one to Arctic Mebo. Aw. Thank you very much, Get Good Cheesecake. That means a lot. <laughs> Welcome to the subscribers, Mebo. Hey, if you got a deck you want me to play, Mebs, then uh, feel free to fire away. I mean, you see most of the decks that you want me to play when we're uh, team team testing, but whatever. Cool, because I was just thinking about going to the dark side and joining the Cult of Tron players. I don't want to invest in a dying engine. I don't think Tron is going to get banned. Now, something you might want to consider, J. Corbus, that um, Tron might just be obsolete. Like, if the format becomes this crap, where it's like, okay, devoted Druid on three, and like... Um, this, like, Hogak deck and, like, Phoenix. I guess Phoenix and Humans is, like, great for you, right? But, like, there's a chance the deck becomes obsolete. So, like, anytime you're dealing with modern, the format tends, especially now, tends to move pretty quickly with, like, what decks are viable, what aren't. Like, gone are the days of, like, you could just register Jun for two years, three years straight, and register Affinity for two, three years straight, right? Like, you... The format moves a lot faster. Now, if you're playing locally only, it won't move that fast, and you're probably safe to just buy into Tron. But, like, if you're playing, like, opens and stuff like that, Tron may not last the entire time. You know what I'm saying? D. Husing 23 I hope I said that right. Thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Man, everybody's great. Yeah, but Tron is still good without the new combo. That's true. Like, yeah, if they ban Karn the Great Creator, like, Tron's still good. Honestly, Karn might be better, like, overall... Like, entirely for the format, Karn might have been worse for Tron than it is, like, in Tron. Like, what I'm saying is, like, people now are main decking Stony Silences, which are good against Tron. But, like, even though Tron gets to play Karn, I don't think Tron, like, Tron traditional is the best Karn deck. Like, I think something that, like, has, like, a fairer angle, like, um, Eldrazi Tron is, like, a better Karn the Great Creator deck. But... I don't think that means Tron's a bad deck. I still think Tron can leverage Karn fine. And it's it's like saying it's like saying Phoenix isn't the best Chase the Mind Sculptor deck, because it's not. Like Chase the Mind Sculptor is better in blue eye control than it is in Is It Phoenix, but Is It Phoenix is a better deck. So like it's kind of the same thing where I think um Eldrazi Tron is a better um Karn the Great Creator deck, but Tron is a better deck. What is Edgar doing? Like, your card has to have just been insane, right? Like, what did you draw? Did you draw, like, a Court of Calling? I don't understand. Why are we sitting here? That's a hot take. Is that a hot take? Is Dredge obsolete now that the Divine is a great... I mean, obsolete is a strange word. I don't think Dredge is obsolete. Dredge is definitely different. It might be a worse deck overall because it's less explosive. But, like, also Dredge is less likely to get banned... I guess that's not true. That's that's just a false statement. Because if they ban something, they might ban, like, Faithless Looting. And if they ban Faithless Looting, that hits Dredge too, right? But, like, I was about to say, like, Dredge is safe from bans, but I don't think that's actually true. All right, the problem is Tron is one... Tron... The problem is that Tron is one of the things that makes you go faster, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, the format can't slow down because of Tron. I think Hogak killed Dredge. 
If I were to buy into a modern deck with decent longevity, what would you go through before blue light control? Honestly, humans. Yeah, he did draw a tutor. I, I think humans is like one of the decks that's like always going to get something and is never like really bannable. But like if humans isn't your style, buy into whatever you want. Like a lot of times the staples are still going to be good. Duskwatch Recruiter is big brain. I like Duskwatch Recruiter from uh, from Edgar here. That was really smart. He spent a lot of time probably thinking and talking about that. Blue light control is very, very good. I don't know about that one. Like I don't think is it is better for sure. Hmm. I, I disagree pretty heavily. This is strange. Why are we main phasing this? Like, what are you looking for? I don't. I don't really know what he's looking for here. That is fine. All right, necrotic runes and out here, so we're actually gonna looting, trying to find a necrotic rune. I think there's one left in the deck. Yeah, there's one left. Bloodstained mire. Definitely don't want that. Uh, red. Let's looting. Try to find a. Altar of Dementia. What does that do? I can't bring back my Venge Vines well, so if I don't hit a Hogak in 12 cards, I feel pretty dumb. There's also only two bridges left. I guess we can try second main, right? Yeah, let's go to combat and attack with everybody. Attack with all. Maybe I should have kept the land. Yeah, I should have kept the land. I should have kept one of the lands. I suck. Very bad. Alright, so you got plenty of blockers. Throw a bunch of stuff. That's fine. That's also fine. Proc the Dusk Watch. This gives you infinite combo if you draw a Vizier. So, I guess we should just try to kill you. Alright. Alter. Um, target me. Get rid of Venge Vine. That's a necrotic wound. Target me. Get rid of Venge Vine. So we're going to build 12 cards here and hope that we hit a Hogak, which we did. We, ne we now need to hit bridges, I think. Target me. Sacrifice this. We hit a bridge. All right. I think that's good. Oh, no, it's not. Whatever. Everything can go back next turn, right? Ooh. Maybe I screwed this up. So we can make Zombie Zombie cast Hogak. All right. I actually need to think. So we can mill five cards with Carrion Feeder. Make... Hopefully make... We make a zombie. Then we make another zombie with Gravecrawler. Can we actually mill our opponent? Ouch. We need to hit the second bridge, which I'm pretty sure we will. Yeah, okay. I think we can mail Edgar out. I think we can, so I'm going to spend time doing it. <laughs> uh, target me, get rid of Carrion Feeder, make a zombie. And we need to hit, we want to hit the second bridge here off of this mill, which we did not. We did not. Whatever. I don't think that particularly matters that much. Because we're going to get Venge Vines back, too. And they have, he has 42 cards left. All right. Mill myself two. Cast the old Hogak. Black, black. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And there's nine cards left. I think if the bridge is the bottom card, we're screwed, right? Oh, no, we might just be screwed anyway, right? Mm. Yeah, no, we needed to hit bridge there. <sighs> Damn it. Mill eight. We can't cast another creature. I should have held the land. If this was a land, if this, this insulin neonate was a land, we could have cast... Gosh, I played so bad. We could have cast Gravecrawler and then brought back Vinge Vines here, and then we just, like, win the game. Instead, I gave him a chance. Do we just mill him for eight? Is that even productive? I don't even know. Like, he just feels unbelievably dead if we get to untap again, so I almost just want to mill him for eight and just try to hit, like, Viziers. Whatever. Mill you. Sack Hogak. Gosh. Ugh! 
That's frustrating. Maybe I shouldn't have played spells. And like I would, I could have flipped the Duskwatch recruiter right by just like not casting spells. Maybe that was the play. And we just milled like a bunch of cards that don't do anything. Am I supposed to mill six more cards? I don't think so. Whatever, go. Maybe we can mill four more. I'm not gonna mill four more. Does that matter? He's just so many looks. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to sack the zombie tokens. Yeah, I can I can sack the zombie tokens and get six more looks at the bridge, and it's it's in the bottom three. No, you're right, you're right. I already sacked the hog axe, so like obviously at that point I can't do anything. I need him to miss here. <laughs> Damn it! I'm so shit at this game. <sighs> All right, well I'm just gonna mill him for six and hope I mill his win condition. All right. Oh. Hope I mill your win condition. Ugh. I played so bad. Whatever, this is fine. Alright. There's a scavenging ooze. I guess that keeps my graveyard from getting exiled. Go. Show me your win condition. What you got? Golly. Deck's hard. Altered Dimension's hard. Whatever, we get an interesting game three, hopefully. Get rid of runes, doesn't matter. Vizier Remedies doesn't matter. Like if they just put a bunch of creatures to play, we're just gonna mill them out. So like I'm fine, I'm fine. I can beat all the like not ballista things, but Eldrami's call doesn't let you get things back, right? Yeah, there's no way to draw your finale of devastation to give yourself infinite infinite unless you already have one in hand. Remorseful cleric, that sacks and exiles a graveyard. I don't think I can beat that one. Well, yeah, yeah, I can't beat that one because of the white, right? But I guess he has something. Yeah, I guess his plan is just to attack me. <sighs> yeah, whatever. I don't know if he has another thing, but he can just attack me. Yeah, I should have. Should we check the top cards? Probably should have checked the top cards. Still don't like blood guests. I didn't bring any artifact hate, right? Still don't love all of the bridges. I do love all the bridges. Wait, there's only three bridges in my deck. Man, I'm good at this game. So, look, we would have hit anyway. I'm a genius. I actually played just correctly because I boarded a bridge out. So, <laughs> obviously. Um... Still want all the wisp mirrors. Still want all the removal spells. Still kind of want bridge. Maybe like this card just like utter nonsense. Cut an altar. Multiple altars and dirty thing. Cool. It's cool. Game through you on the play. Yeah. His wins on Shalai. That's right. They do sometimes play Shalai. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was trying to figure out like well I didn't know if like with Eldrami's call and all that crap they like went down only one win condition because playing two is kind of stupid because like I don't know most decks you're either going to be able to put your whole deck into play full of creatures or you're going to be able to just ballista them for a billion so like playing a second win condition seems a little dumb but maybe maybe you're right maybe they have just a shalai but yeah Ewit oh yeah sure Ewit's great too he has like a million things getting a call ugh Edgar he hit in three. You know what's funny is like if I hadn't milled him, right? Like if I hadn't milled him, then he would have actually missed off his vizier activate off his like activation. And then he would have had to like activate again and would have missed again. Because I milled the top 14 cards and there was no viziers in in there anywhere. And so he would have just died if I didn't mill him. I just like left my tower and played like a moron and was just like go. <laughs> Damn it. Edgar had the win. Punt into repunt. Oh yeah, no, I I punted far more than Edgar did. Edgar's much smarter than me. I punted far more than Edgar did. This has been an embarrassing match. All right, would you like to play first? Nothing would make me happier. Looting discard two grave crawlers is actually kind of nice, and like we have necrotic wound. I'm a big fan of this hand. Uh, red. Faithless looting. And we have a Wismare. 
Boop, boop. So, if he plays a mana creature, I'm probably going to shoot it. That's a lot of lands. That's a lot of damage. You know what they say, bolt the bird. If he has Devoted Journey, I'm going to feel kind of stupid, but eh. 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 It's fine. He doesn't have it. What does this cost to actually cast? Three mana? Yeah, we're going to cast it. Yeah. Cast our Wismares. Cast them. Fetch. Godless Shrine. Yes. White. Cast. Yes, blow that up. Look at my 1-3 flyer. I'm a god. <laughs> Flap. <laughs> oh, no. No, stop. Oh, no. So many lands. Kill me, Edgar. I'm not... I've lived for far too long. Kill me. No! <laughs> this game sucks. I hate this game. I punted the match. Yeah, whatever. Make your stupid mana, Ed Dad. Ugh. Scum! Scum! X is 13. What? Eternal Witness. What? Oh, it gives haste too. Sure. Tilt, should have left it up the block. What a misplay. I love the turn three kill. Oh, I'm sorry, the turn four kill with rest in peace. All right. I think we played our hardest. Oh, gosh, I've played, I've played, I think, I think I've legitimately misplayed in every single game that we've played and I'm still two and two. That is wild to me. Like, first of all, if you're going to play this deck in a tournament this weekend, put some fucking reps into it because holy cow, I have not played well. More like makes you dead, Gur. Got him. Yeah, no. Apparently, Edgar punted as well, so I feel a little vindicated. But I mean, Edgar's deck looks complicated. My deck's complicated. Whatever. I mean, even Bridgevine before that was a big that was a big holdback for like why it never really performed that well. Is like original Bridgevine was actually very very challenging to play as well. And like honestly, our games have been close. Like against Edgar, we should have probably won that game, right? Where we like, no, no, I didn't have another bridge. Never mind. Yeah, no, so, like, actually we weren't supposed to win that game because I boarded out a bridge. Like, so I misplayed by sideboarding, but whatever. The point is, like, we probably could have won game two if I was a little smarter and had a little more reps with this. Like, game one, we probably were never winning, so we probably should be 3-1. I don't know. This deck definitely feels powerful, and it can beat the hate. I don't know if I buy the, like, it's broken. It feels just as broken as Dredge is. Uh, this... Like, you saw these games where just, like, your opponent looks like a moron because nothing they're doing matters at all. But, like, then then you experience Leyline line, and you're like, okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, I was walking the sand. This hand blows. Uh, this hand better. This hand's, like, missing a looting. Looting or Neonate. Neonate's pretty good. That's eight draws in two steps. Sure. Eight draws in two steps I'll take. Draw on. Speak of the devil. Alright. Like, real question is, am I supposed to... Oh, God. Am I supposed to cast this Gravecrawler? I feel really dumb if my next draw is Insulin Neonate, so I don't think I'm going to. I don't think getting a Savannah Lions in play to attack is going to matter more than... Uh, if I draw Neonate, like having this. Nice. Never didn't have it, huh? We're gonna look like Jund. If they have Tron on turn three, plus anything that anything with text, we're gonna concede. Uh I don't even want to cast anything. Like if I cast blood gas, they're gonna bring in like hate. I'm actually just not gonna cast this blood gas. I think there's a higher chance we lose this game. Even if I cast Blood Gas. Like, it's strictly correct to cast Blood Gas, but I'm going to try to get him not to board in Graveyard Hate. He might. 
But, like, I'm hoping by, like, not cracking this Delta, he's just be like, nope, this guy's on a bad duck. All right, play anything with text. All right, that doesn't have text. All right. Actually, we might fetch the Godless Shrine to really try to throw him off. Sure. That does not have text. Fetch for God. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, I think we're going to fetch for Godless Shrine. Blast Zone. I don't care about that. How do you just have nothing? Godless Shrine. Nope. Faithless Looting. Damn it! <laughs> this gives me a chance. No! Uh, no! He's just gonna Ulamog Ulamog me next turn, and I'm gonna feel like a moron. I hate this game. Whatever, what's Faithless Looting? Uh huh? Uh huh? Creatures? Oh my god. <sighs> Hate this game. Fine. Fine. We'll show ourselves. Red Neonage. Alright. Scared card. Bridge. This gives us insurance against O Stone. <sighs> Draw a card. Marsh Flats isn't bad. Grave Crawler, bring back Venge Vines. But yes, always, yes, always yield. Now we're just gonna get Ulamogged, and it's gonna be miserable. I hate this game. This game is so miserable. It gave me a chance. This is this is the problem with modern. You think you have a chance at a game that you have no chance at. Alright, go. I have a billion D things going on. You ha we have lethal on board. We have a turn four kill. Despite my shitty hand, we have a turn four kill. But I think we're getting Ugand. This looks like an Ugand. I hate this game. Remember the part where we thought we had a chance in this game, chat? I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. I would have scooped it up. Wait until after Ugin. I'm not going to wait until after Ugin to put Lethal in play on turn 4. I'm just going to put Lethal to play on turn 4. Alright, that's all my shit. Don't pull the thing. God, if you screw this up. Alright. Alright, we have to hit like an insane sequence of stuff. That ain't it, Chief. Chief, that is not it. You turned up a blast zone. Maybe you just can't cast it. <laughs> uh, black. Black. Here's a black guest. Oh, it doesn't have haste. God, I hate this game. All right. Are we done here? I think we're done here. I think we're very done here. I could have brought this back in instant speed. I actually did just screw this up too. Because like I could have I could have flashed back looting, discarded it, play a fetch land, don't bring back, pass, and then brought this back in instant speed to pressure Ugin, but like that just doesn't make sense. That's not even a winning line. Let's just concede the game, draw the next two cards. Joker. Joker. Nice. Ugh, fuck John. Alright. Artifact hates. Get this Necrotic Wound out of my deck. Necrotic Wound's been aggressively mediocre. I don't think they have Ley Lines. I'm, that just means I'm 100% to get Ley Lines. Every time I'm like, I don't think they have X. I'm just like a million percent to get x Whatever X means. All right, we're going to do this. Just like a little bit of trimming. Let's get it. Drake, you're 0% to win. Please scoop. I did. I scooped. Lols, Ugin. What's up, Jim? How's it going? Yeah, we got we got Ugin. What do you think of this Hogak deck, Jim? You think it's broken? You think it's broken? 
Hogak is broke. Deck feels unwinnable from the Blue White X perspective. Well, everything feels unwinnable from the Blue White X perspective because Blue White X is not a playable deck. I haven't played it or against it yet. Yeah, you've been playing standard. I was I was peeping in your stream all day, though I had actual work to do, frustratingly. Oh, good. This is like a faith that's leading away from being great, but we have an ingot chewer for like grafter's cage and shit. I don't think that's good enough. I think this hand's not good enough. Gotta go. See ya. Do I think this hand's good enough? I do. Do I think that is good? Ugh. What does Insolent Neonate actually do for this hand? What is this hand actually looking for? It's looking for a Stitcher Supplier. We have Inga Chewer. We have Altar of Dementia, which is going to be good with this Hogak. So we have the Hogak Stitcher. We have the Hogak Altar. We're just looking for something to get started. So, like, looting's fine. We just want to get Hogak into play as quickly as possible. What allows me to do that? I don't think Neonate does. I just don't think... I mean, Neonate puts, like, a card in the graveyard, but I just don't see that being better than something else. Let's put it on top. I think, I think we're still going to top it. I think that's better than a, than a random draw, though. That's that's my problem with it, is I think it's still better than a random draw. All right, black grave crawler. So we're just going to try to, like, legitimately try to get the uh, the altar engine going. Boop. Jim is the enemy. He's a Tron player. Fair. <laughs> will not will not fraternize. Fraternize? 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 What? Dude, look, I have trouble with this. With the enemy. Uh, I want to alter, but I want to blow up map. Ugh. Fetch. Oh, I think I'm going to blow up that map. I think it's just going to give me infinity time. Just attack. So we can neonate discard the Hogak because it doesn't matter if it's in hand. It can be in graveyard and that's fine. Which is like another reason why the neonate's like still fine. Neonate. All right. Gosh. Cast of the evoke. This is evoke evokes a trigger, right? It doesn't just go straight to the graveyard. Yeah, I wish I could. Oh, I wish I had like alter and play, and I could just like sack it in response and build three cards. That would be so good. Obviously, blow that up. Go. Alright. Don't grafters cage me. I can beat a relic, I think. I think. Don't quote me, but I think I can beat a relic. I can definitely beat a chromatic sphere. No scrying is insane for me. Neonate. Discard the old gacky. Blood crypt. What does blood crypt do? We still can't cast Mr. Hogek. Hmm. For... I think we're just going to put Altar in play. Gosh. What if he just has Natural Tron? We're just, like, very dead, right? All right. I want this third land. Or can I neonate it away next turn? I don't know. I think we're just going to hold and we're going to plan to neonate next turn. Played 10 Ashes Modern yesterday and play it once. Blue Light Hex is not an unplayable deck. It's pretty close. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to buy it a Tron. You, you sold? Sadly, I wanted to eat. I, want to, I have to go. I want to eat ramen before bed. Fair. Attack first? No. Yeah. Attacking first is fine. I mean, I don't think it matters at all. If he has Dismember, we're still going to sack. Like I don't think this is this I don't think this is going to come down to life total. What are we looking to hit? Blood ghasts? Like sacking this turn doesn't feel like it makes sense. This feels like actually a pretty important decision point, and I just seem to I can't seem to figure it out.
Like, do I want to try to discard this land to this neonate? We can mill two, but like we need a zombie to get this thing into play. It's all about casting Hogak. It's all about casting Hogak. Then we're trying to hit one mana. Well, we're trying to hit one mana black spells. I think we're supposed to hold. Drake, do you agree with the metaphor that playing Delver is like driving a car? You know that one? Are you talking about the Honda Civic? <laughs> oh, is this a relic? God, this is a relic. Please don't be a relic. Please no relic, papi. Okay. I think we get one more turn of living. So, this is all I really wanted. Gravecrawler. I think that's what the doctor ordered. Uh. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. We shock this in. P red cast. This uh, discard this draw card. Okay, bridge from below. It's not what I wanted to draw. Cast Grave Crawler. Target me, Sack Grave Crawler. Oh, yeah, we're missing some cards in the graveyard. Cast Grave Crawler. Vengevine's not coming back this turn, so we can actually exile it. Black, black, boop, 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 another Hogak. I guess we can take another Hogak, right? <sighs> can we pass? Like, if they oog at me, I just, like, don't care. If they o stone me, I care a lot. <sighs> Mill myself for eight. I have to hit, like, I have to hit, like, an insane series of bridges and stuff in eight cards. Is it worth giving them a turn and losing my altar? Losing the altar is pretty bad. Sack Hogak. I don't know what to do here, chat. He can't he can't oog an altar. That's true, but he can car an altar. If he car an altar is what happens. What if he just Ulamogs? What if he Ulamogs targets Hogak, Altar of Dementia? Is that fine with us? We just sack Hogak, mill eight cards. Sack Gravecrawler, mill two cards. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I think we're supposed to pass. This has been this has been an insanely hard turn. For, like, no reason. It's just, like, trying to run the numbers on this is something that I'm not used to. And, like, next turn we also have Faith that's starting to hit to get this bridge in the yard. We should have a lot going on. And like if they play Relic, we're also kind of in shape in bad shape, but like I don't I don't know, dude. I guess technically we have them dead, right? 12, 30, 14, or two points short. Karn liberated, that's fine. So you have to target Altar of Dementia, right? Because you can't beat Altar of Dementia. So if you target Altar of Dementia, we sack Gravecrawler, sack Hogak. Next, I'll target permanent. Yeah, sacrifice. You get to target me. Sack this. Eight cards. God, if he has relic, I'm such an idiot. But I don't think we can beat this Karn relic nonsense. All right, and we drew a looting. That's fine. 
now we have to try to grind. I mean, it means he probably doesn't have Ulamog, which is good for me. Stitcher Supplier. <sighs> this game is very hard. Uh, yeah, let's Stitcher Supplier. Try to hit more Venge Vines, and we did. Um, so we can Grave Crawler. Yes. Yes. And we have two blood ghasts. We have a looting to work with. And we can cast Hogak. Target Karn. Uh, face, face, face. Sure. I guess I'll play Hogak. What's the reason not to play Hogak? I don't really know. We're, we're kind of all in. We're not really beating a Nugan, but we can beat a uh, O-Stone, and that's what's important. Go. And like, we kind of beat a Nugan by forcing him to minus 7, I guess, and then we get two blood gas back. He is at 8, and like that's still a two-turn clock. All we have to do is looting into a land. So like if we loot if we looting into land after he Ugin sweeps us then we're like in pretty good shape. That's fine. Doing no effects. God, I got it. <laughs> Thanks, Beebs. Gosh, this deck has been hard. I'm excited to play something else. This deck has been very very challenging, but very good. I mean, I guess that was our turn four, right? Like we've consistently put turn four lethal to play a relic. We can beat a relic. We can definitely beat a Relic. We can't be like a Relic and an Ulamog. But we can beat a Relic. I mean, and an Ugin, I'm sorry. Cycle, Relic, Ugin? No Ugin, please. No Ugin, please! Oh, no Ugin. No Eugene Krabs. I don't even know what game this is. I feel like it's game three. No Eugene Krabs. Hmm! <laughs> Got him! Oh, no, that was game two. Golly. Oh, that was so stressful for a game two. Ugh. Well, how do I feel about how we sideboarded? Alter felt kind of good. Like, winning without combat's kind of nice. Still got graveyard hate. Blood gas kind of sucks. Submit. Put more alters in the deck. Boom! I think we need a fourth alter. I, after that game, I heavily agree with you. Oh, this hand is very good, right? As long as we don't get... I mean, it has the same problem, right? But we have we have the altar combo. Keep. So we're going to looting on one. Hope to hit a land drop. And then we're going to go, like, creature, creature. Put Vengevine into play. That is f that's big fine. This kind of signals to me a little bit of weakness. Like, his hand either has Sylvan Scrying or a Relic. And I'm not sure which. He did mole pretty low. Well, we hit a second land because I'm a... Fucking master. Um, see, I'll just shock this into play. Loot. Oh, I should have fetched. Ooh, super small, but definitely, definitely big. Uh, is the bridge in my graveyard more important? It might be. No, no, no. Being able to put a power in turn two is much bigger. <laughs> we can always flashback looting for bridge later, because like the alter dementia thing's slower. Yeah, yeah. So, like, we're going to start off, for our first course, we're going to put two creatures into play and then attack with a lot of Venge Vines. For our second course meal, we're going to try the Altered Dementia Bridge from Below thing, and that's, like, if we're trying to grind. What do you have, an Ancient Stirrings? I don't think an Ancient Stirrings. That is a deal for me, dog. Santa's fucking nice. <laughs> I agree. Uh, Relic Progenitus, fuck off. No away okay fine I will exile faithless looting all right well you let me do a thing so we're going to fetch Chuck fetch ha ha gotcha look at that now you can't exile anything I'm still gonna exile the looting but whatever <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, sure. Let's grab my black red lines. Black carrion feeder. All right. Then we're gonna play grave crawler, and the next turn. Okay, I'm not gonna screw this up. Exile march flats. Then we're gonna play our grave crawler. Get back a billion D power. Yes. Okay, yes. And this insulates us against the old Carney boy. <sighs> Go to combat. Attack for approximately 500. Alright. Now, this also, like, makes him hopefully crack the relic to, like, do things that aren't, like, put more trial lands into play. Scariest play this turn is probably, like, Karn minus grab, like, bridge or something. I don't know. I don't care about bridge. I have altered dementia. Fine. Do you have a bell? You need a bell. Ding! <laughs> oh. Yeah, here we go. This is exactly what we wanted to see. The, like, psycho relic, like, inefficiently used Tron lands kind of thing. Like, this is... Oh, yeah. This is nice. You love to see it. Make green. Ancient strings? What we got? Map. Map is still pretty slow. I'm not sure if we can kill our opponent this turn. Stitcher supplier. Well, we can try. <sighs> land. Oh, playing that land was bad. <laughs> Already screwed it up. <sighs> All right. Yeah, wow, that was really bad. Because I was supposed to play Stitcher supplier first. Stitcher supplier, play altar. Sack, sack, mill a million cards. Let's stitch your supplier. Yeah, if I hit a black ass, you feel stupid. Great crawler. Bench fine. Alright, well, I don't feel stupid. I'm a genius instead. Altar of Dementia. Alright, we've played one creature thus far, so let's sack this creature. Target me. Sack the stitcher supplier. Mill stuff. Mill one more. There's a bug ass. What's up? Stop. Read feeder, please, Drake. Oh, are they dead? Well, no, we still have a Vengevine coming back, right? Like, they're just dead when we cast another creature, right? Yeah, we're just going to cast this Hoga. He's going to die. I got this. Hey, thanks for the resub, Alabama fan 012. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we're just going to cast... This is great. We're going to cast a second creature, and we're going to get back this Vengevine. What's the problem here? So we, like... Yeah, we cast Hogak. Right? Because I played, I played a Citrus Supply this turn. Boop. I don't know. I think I'm really smart, and that, that about sums up how I feel about this whole situation. Alright, here we go. Get back Avenge Vine. Attack for 12. Yes. Alright. What's up? How's it going? Time to re-up. I really appreciate it, Alabama fan. Hey, if you got a sub list, go in the Discord, and we, uh... Oh, I guess I could have just attacked without doing this. Whatever. Look, it's fine. Uh, go in the Discord and ship that, uh, sub list. There's a sub list channel now for you to submit that. I usually change the stupid... Change the stupid name so bad. What name? Sack the Venge Vines? Why would I sack the Venge Vines? It doesn't do anything. They're dead. Just waste time, right? I don't understand. I guess I guess I should have like I should have like played like to attack with the carrion feeder and stuff like that, but I think this is incrementally better because if they do have like some stupid trick, then like we at least have um, Hogak milling going on. Anyway, look at that, we're a god. Look at this, we got our hundred points back. We got this little modern point thing and whatever that is. We got a chest, so we got our three two value. I guess it's just a more expensive friendly league. I don't know. I played like dog shit this league. Deck feels. Good. But like we we saw okay. Yeah, let's just let's just deck recap. Let's just deck recap. This deck feels great. However, we saw a distinct lack of Leyline of the Voids, which I said at the beginning is what is going to beat this deck, right? Like rest in peace is a little slow. Um surgical is usually not good enough. Things like Ashiok are way too slow. So we played against some variants of Graveyard Hate multiple times, and most of it's too slow. However, 
basically every game, I was sitting there like, well, if they have a line, I'm just going to do nothing except play draft unplayables for the first, like, four or five turns. Whereas, like, like th there's multiple games we brought back two Venge Vines on turn two or stuff like that, but, like, this deck cannot beat Leyline of the Void consistently. It can. It can beat it. We do have Wisp Mares. We can beat Leyline of the Void. I don't think we can beat it consistently after playing these games. Like, I played pretty bad. Like, it's challenging to play, obviously. And I think we probably could have at least 4 one if I played a little bit better. And we definitely wouldn't have had as many Game 3s as we did. But, like, I don't think this deck... I don't think this deck's insanely broken in its current iteration. Until it can beat Leyline of the Voids consistently, I don't think this deck's busted in half. However, this deck is very powerful. Like, if you're playing a an event, a big event, whatever, anytime soon, this is something that you're going to have to look out for. Because this deck is just very good. Now, if it's in the hands of somebody who isn't very good, you're probably going to win anyway because, like I said, very challenging to play. But, like, I think this deck... Why would, why would you alter the supplier? No, I have a good feeling about why Black Venture now led to Mulligan with C20. Yeah, I don't know. The London Mulligan might make this deck more consistent at beating Leyline, but it also makes people more consistent at finding their Leyline, so you'd have to play more answers to Leyline of the Void. I don't know. The sideboard felt pretty reasonable. The main deck felt pretty reasonable. The Necrotic Wound kind of felt like nonsense in the main deck, but I guess it's fine. I maybe would have liked a little bit, a, like, a better Graveyard Engine. Is there, like, any kind of, like, better Mill spell? I kind of want, like, another Get Stuff Going card. I want another, like, Mill Stuff card. I don't know how to get that. Maybe, like, a Cathartic Reunion. I wouldn't actually mind a Cathartic Reunion. Like, there's times I would cast that on turn two, I think. I think. I don't know. But, like, the point is, this deck feels good. This deck's powerful. It's a competitor. I don't know if it's broken. It doesn't feel busted. It feels playable. It feels probably top tier. It feels about as good as Dredge. Maybe better. But, like, I don't think this deck... I think this deck is worse against Leyline than Dredge is, for whatever that's worth. You have less... You have less card of it. You have less, like card selection cards to find your answers to Leyline of the Void, but I don't know. If I were to make changes to the deck, I would probably just look at, like, moving this into a different card. I don't know. That's probably it. Like, the rest of the numbers felt fine. Like, everything else seemed like it should be four of, so. What's up? Dark Blast over Wound. That's kind of nice. I actually like that a lot, Jeff. That's probably exactly what I would do. I'd probably play a Dark Blast over this, because, like, I can still just, like, I can use it to kill my own uh, Stitcher suppliers, and it, like, doesn't exile them. That's hot. You're a genius. You're just a master. You're so good. You're so, so good. Target birds confirmed. Ace, how did the league go? We 3 2 Ace. I probably could have 4 one if I played a little bit better, but we 3 2 Um... It, like I said, the deck felt powerful. I don't think the deck's, I don't think the deck's gonna consistently beat Leyline of the Void. So if you put Leyline of the Void in your sideboard this weekend, I think you will beat this deck. However, if you don't have four Leylines in your board, I think you're gonna struggle. And that's that's fine. You can hope to just dodge. This deck does look kind of expensive, so maybe people won't own it or whatever, but like I do think you're gonna struggle if you don't put Leylines in your board. But I don't think this deck I don't think this the format's at a point where it's just play this deck or lose yet. Um, you're going to get a lot of free points for people not ready for it, but I don't think this deck is play, play it or lose. So, I don't know. That's my take on it. It's definitely powerful. If you're looking to play it this weekend, I think it's a great choice. If you're looking to play against it this weekend, pack ley lines. And that's my opinion on it. Feels good. Deck's good. Feels better than Neoform is without the London Mulligan roll, for whatever that's worth. Um, Neoform definitely relied heavier on the London Mulligan, whereas this, this deck actually might just get broken with the London Mulligan. I don't actually, I don't really know, but... It, I mean, we didn't even mulligan that much. A lot of our opening hands were just keepable. It's like, cool, graveyard stuff and stuff to get it going. Like, awesome. Art Mage, can Demon of Deathgate stop Leyland of the Void? I don't know what Demon of Deathgate is. Because someone's got to tell me what that is. I just want to go back to Dredge. It's easier than this. <laughs> That's true, Jeff. And you know what's funny is Dredge isn't even very easy. It's, like, still pretty hard. The people who want to play this deck have all the expensive bits. The new cards are pretty cheap. Is that true? I thought Hogax were, like, 50 bucks. <laughs> Demon of Deathgate. What the hell? You may pay six life and sacrifice three black creatures rather than pay this thing's mana cost. Uh, six life, sack three, I I guess. Flying trample, nine nine thing. I don't know. That might be a reasonable sideboard card. At that point, I think you'd rather just be answering the ley lines, right? Damn, he's flying up. Never mind. It's a really good answer, ley line void. They were twenty dollars when I looked. Yeah, I, I yeah I think he's like a million dollars. I just have hundreds of. Hundreds of games, I don't know, it makes it more, so much more sense to me. That makes a lot of sense. It needs haste? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Good God, that card would be stupid with haste. Anyways, um, I don't think I have anything else to say about this deck. 
Uh, thank you to everybody that has stuck through. I really appreciate it. If you have not yet followed me on Twitch, you should jam that follow button. Oh, hey, thanks for the resub, YGL. Four months. Really appreciate it. I'm actually about to play your sub list here in a second. So, uh, yeah, if you have a sub list for this coming month, then shoot it in the sub list channel in the Discord. I think that's where I'm going to try to, like, get all of that going. So shoot me the sub list in the sub list part of the Discord, and I will get to it this coming month. But we're about to play yours, I guess, for last month. We're going to cash that in. Anyways, if you have not yet followed me on Twitch, you appreciate the content, follow me on Twitch. Easiest way to support me. It doesn't cost you a dime unless you know when I go live. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you much for sticking through. I really appreciate it. I'm, I know that probably was kind of hard to watch, but it was my first time playing it, so give, give me a little bit of a break. Um, and you like the content, jam the subscribe button. Easiest way to support me on YouTube. It doesn't cost you a dime, and we'll let you know when I post more videos. Other ways you can support me are by supporting my sponsors, which have been scrolling beneath my face the whole time. Start off with the on Inkling Customs, which is an artist that follows around a lot of the Mythic Championships in the Opens. She did all of the Nova tokens, which on Twitter you can find the new tokens for Matthew Dilks, and I think Rudy got another one that has a little Thanos theme to Rudy's and a Game of Thrones theme to Dilks. They look insane. I'm so, so impressed. But yeah, she's done all the art for all the Nova tokens, our play mats and our logo, all the stuff. Been very happy to work with her. She's awesome. And yeah, you can see all of her work on Twitter and you can follow her at, at Inkling Customs. You can follow Team Nova at Team Nova MTG. And you can check her work out in, at, at her website in the panels below or in the description below if you're on YouTube. Um, there's a link there. You can go check her stuff out. All of it's reasonably priced. And uh, you know, like I said, her art's great. You can always get a custom token made of yourself too at any event that she is at. Next up, we got the In Games, which is a store in Charlottesville that gives us a discount when buying Magic cards. Also, lets us rent cards. You can too. Use code Team Nova MTG on the website below. You can get singles and sealed product at a discount. I believe it's ten percent off for using the code Team Nova MTG. Really happy to be supported by the End Games. It's a local store to some of our players, and I mean, it's just been around for a long time, and it's a great store. It does a lot for the community, and we're really proud to be sponsored by them. Next up, we got hipsesofthecoast.com, where you can check out all the content that Team Nova writes. We also write a weekly article anytime, well, weekly anytime there's a uh, tournament. So tournament by tournament article that is our deck list for that given tournament. Um, you can check all that out, Hipsters of the Coast. They have a lot of other good writers and good podcasts up there as well. It doesn't cost you a dime. You can get a little bit better at magic, learn some stuff, and, you know, be entertained. Uh, they also have a lot of merch, stuff like that you can check out. Link below. You get the idea. And last but not least, we have Manitures.com. This is the rental service I use to play all these horrific decks for you. Uh, you can use the code TEAMNOVAMTG for 15% off your first three months with them. I We do use them for, I, I said to say me, we all use them for paper rentals as well, and their paper rental service is fantastic. Um, so I highly recommend checking that out. You can do bundles and stuff like that for both Moto or for... Um, paper or both, whatever you're looking to use, and you pay for exactly what you're going to use. So it's a pretty sweet service. Used it for going on three years now and have been nothing but happy with it, have no intention of ever changing, and incredibly happy to be sponsored by them. So check them out. Once again, code TEAMNOVAMTG for 15% off your first three months. There's a link to get started below. So please check them out. Support our sponsors. They're awesome. Oh, last but not least, we just got sponsored by Introspect V. They did our uh, New Jerseys, which you saw at SCG Con. We also posted pictures on Twitter of them. They look awesome. Uh, I guess I should wear one next week. I won't wear it this week, obviously, but it's in the wash. But uh, yeah, we'll wear, I'll wear it for you guys next week. The, uh, the jersey's super, super hot. So, yeah, you should go check them out. I believe you can use code TEAMNOVAMTG for, oh, God, it's always, I think it's 15% off merchandise with them. Um, and I'm going to have a link in the description below on YouTube, and I'm going to get it added to Twitch. I don't think it's actually on Twitch right now, but you just search introspect V, like the word introspect, followed by a letter V, and you will find them. And they're, they're a clothing brand. Their stuff is awesome, super high quality. looks really good. So, you can pimp out your wardrobe with their stuff. Now, once again, they're recent sponsors. They haven't been scrolling beneath my face, so we're going to have to get the, the little scrolling updated. But thank you all. Um, really appreciate your support, and I'll catch you guys next time.